How's it going, everybody? This is the Uncanny Omar with my lovely co-host. I may, wait, what's my name? You, you're off. You're... <laughs> Astonishing Melody. I'm feeling better today. So thank you um, for asking, Zorp. And thank you guys so much for joining us on this Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Um, be, be, before we go uh, any further, though, um, what I uh, give, give some love out to uh, uh, Jason David Frank. And all his fans, you know, I heard this morning that he passed away, and I know that he impacted a lot of lives. And I have a lot of friends that that's that's their hero, so they're taking it really rough. So, you know, if if, if you're struggling and you need to reach out to somebody, by all means, there's a nine eight eight number here in America. It's the suicide hotline in America. Uh, you know, just reach out to anybody because you're loved. Just remember that, and love to anybody that's struggling out there so i'm sure i'll talk a little bit more about it uh later on but uh, be, uh sorry to start off on such a bummer especially when we're supposed to be having fun doing this auction thing uh let me uh introduce the kind folks from dynamite i believe nick might be joining us a little bit later nick is the uh, gentleman that uh put it all together but uh, these are the wonderful folks that actually did the physical stuff and put everything together this is amy <laughs> and Rex from team dynamite how are you guys Good. How are you? Very well, thank you. I wanted yeah. I wanted to say, uh, uh, jumping on what you you just talked about, I, it seems like at least within the last year, it seems like we've lost a lot of creators within the comic industry. You know, certainly this type of thing happens uh, in life. Uh, I don't know if it's just my perception. It just feels like a lot over the last year, last couple of years, and you know, certain certain creators where it just you feel like they 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 went you know really unexpectedly very young um so that's that's been you know really unfortunate uh so uh it's 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 a good thing you know i think that coming out of pandemic and everything else everybody is maybe a little bit fatigued and when you hear about all this bad news within the industry it's it's uh it kind of weighs on everybody i think uh you know uh so so i i applaud you for addressing it oh uh thanks man yeah it's uh it's 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 very difficult to keep a happy beat sometimes when things like this happen. Like when you hear yes. about like Kevin Conroy, Carlos Pacheco, George Perez, like Neil Adams, all these people that you know help like make all of this. Like without them, like it, it's just so hard to talk about. It. And and then you got to be all cheeky and happy to do the show, and because uh, people want to forget about real life issues for a while. So yeah, for what we're here to do, we're gonna we're gonna have some some fun, and um, all the proceeds that Near Me Condition was getting is all going towards the Rachel Pollock GoFundMe. So in and case... and um, Dynamite is donating as well. Oh, thank you, thank you. I didn't know if Nick had replied back or not. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm uh, in case you don't know, Rachel Pollock is a comic book creator. Uh, she is had a phenomenal run on not just doom patrol but everybody seems to forget about her fourth world uh, new gods because some guy named john Byrne eventually took over her run but uh but she was struggling with cancer and as you all know in the comic book industry there are no health insurance here in america so these people have to pay out of pocket so there's a gofundme uh all the proceeds we're getting today are, are going to go to that so hopefully you will end up with some cool stuff and we get to help out a wonderful creator no, exactly. So hopefully, you know, uh, I, I got to give Amy most of the credit. She she really put together the uh, the lineup for, for uh, this thank afternoon. You, so, uh, thank you know, you. thank you, Amy. Um, I think it's always great uh, if we can do something like this and uh, help someone that, that happens to be in need. Um, and as you say, you know, uh, health insurance is probably the single biggest issue that uh, this country faces and has faced for a really long time. So uh, hopefully we can do a little bit of good. Uh, have some fun, and uh, hopefully some fans will get some great deals. Do you mind? Um, can I put you on solo layout as you just talk a little bit about Dynamite? No, yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, there yeah. you go. And you can mute us. All right, so here we are. Oh, my God, I look even uglier when I'm, <laughs> like, larger. Um, we're, we're right. We're fine. <laughs> I'm talking about me, not you. Um, so uh, Dynamite Entertainment was founded in 2005, um, and before that, uh, there was uh, Dynamic Forces, which kind of – really hit the boom or hit the map uh, around the time of death of Superman, ironically, as we're approaching the anniversary. Now I really feel old. Um, and then in 2005, Dynamite uh, became, uh, you know, uh, an independent publisher. 
And with titles such as Red Sonia, uh, The Bionic Man, uh, Vampirella, obviously one of our Obviously, you can see a lot of Vampirella in the background yeah, here. Yeah, right. Um, yes, excuse our mess. This is actually cleaner than my house. But um, but a lot of great titles, um, a lot of older titles that, that came out. And then, of course, The Boys was probably the big feather in the Dynamite's cap. And then of late, just recently, we uh, signed a, a, a license with Disney. So Darkwing Duck has come out. Gargoyles will be out uh, early December, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah like I, I, I keep I seeing on week. social media, a lot of people are excited for those. Books. Yeah, I'm not. You know, I'm not exactly in the editorial department, so they bypass me uh, uh, with the emails about it, you know certain de- dates. But I'm pretty sure uh, we're talking first week in December. Um, so that's been phenomenal. Um, you know, and the uh, support and the reaction from fans out there. Uh, cl- <clears throat> clearly, there was a a need for these titles to to kind of make a reappearance. So that's been really great. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, you, 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 we all do something to make a living, keep the lights on, pay the mortgage, uh, put gas in our car. Uh, I got to say, uh, when you're working with uh, comic books all day long, it's 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 not too hard, right? <laughs> uh, Forsaken V12. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, we appreciate that. We, we appreciate everybody's support, um, not just for us, but for all your indie publishers out there, uh, your, your local comic book shop, your LCS. Definitely, uh, you know, make sure you, you you patronize them as well. Uh, they are clearly the backbone of, of uh, this industry and where it came from. So uh, sometimes they get a little bit for, forgotten in, in, in the background, especially during the pandemic. So, you know, make sure you support that and all your local businesses. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So um, there we go. I'm going to M- – Melanie already put some stuff ahead. Like uh, uh, we got a timer ready for because this is an auction. Cool. Uh, type of deal. I'm gonna let Live auction two minutes. I'm gonna let Rex explain the rules and how this, this is gonna go. Uh, he, and we'll, he will probably him and Amy will probably be full screen the entire time. But we are here because there might be something I may want. There was something I got outbidded on the last time. It was a cover by Peach Momoko, and I was like, damn, mm. that's the one that I wanted. Uh, but it, but you know what? It went to a good cost. That even the one we did last year. So. Uh, yeah, let, let's have some fun and let's go ahead and start this. And yes, by the way, when you were talking about Gargoyles and Darkwing Duck, you have no idea how excited I am because I love that stuff. And Darkwing Duck and Gargoyles had a comic run that I'm like, oh, maybe re- uh, Dynamite can republish those two in some kind of nice hardcover edition. But I'll wait for Nick uh, to join us so I can hammer him about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. He's the best definitely. When, when, when he shows up, <laughs> you can hammer him repeatedly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But uh, all right, so the, the rules are going to be uh, uh, fairly simple. Uh, yes, unstoppable, I can. So it, because you, you never know what anybody's going to purchase and so on and so forth. So it's going to be kind of on the fly. But to give all the uh, viewers a, a point of reference. So six, six ungraded comics with bag and boards, up to six, will be $10 shipping uh, within the continental United States. If you buy a, a graded or slab book, it will be... Uh, $17.50 up to three slab books anywhere within the continental United States. If you buy a piece of original art or multiple pieces of original art, you know, as long as it's not like 10, I don't even think we have 10 available today. Yeah, just but, but if even one person based on what we see there has it, uh, again, it, it'll be $25 to ship anywhere within the continental U- U.S., not including ship it, uh, insurance. Insurance We'll, we'll help you figure it out, but essentially it's usually about uh, uh, $1 for every $100 insured. Okay, so that's a good reference point. So if you if you, um, if you bought $500 worth of stuff and we're insuring it to ship to you, then you should probably figure in about $5 for insurance as well. That's outside of the, the regular shipping costs. Um, unstoppable bar. Okay, so that is something where if you do claim something, Go ahead and PayPal us uh, the amount for the item that you've won. And then please include, oh, also very important, when you send the PayPal in the notes section, uh, please remember to put your full name, if it doesn't match up to your screen name, your ship to address, and then an email that we can contact you with with uh, anything uh, mm-hmm. that we may have questions about. Uh, unstop- unstoppable bar, and that this includes anybody that's going internationally, Unfortunately, what we found is international shipping rates have been fluctuating dramatically. Like it, they may not be the same to the same address uh, two days in a row. So what we're going to do is we're going to charge you straight shipping. So at that point, when you pay us the information with the payment for the item, we'll have your ship to address. We'll weigh out whatever you purchase and send you an email with the exact shipping rate to wh- whatever part of the world you're in. 
Um, so that's how we're going to handle international as well. All right. And uh, so let's see. Rich had a question. Uh, OK, so no, Rich uh, had gotten that part. Yet, do we do we have we said like it's our PayPal address is PayPal at Dynamite? Uh, we have not. Um, uh, why don't you go ahead and let everybody know what our PayPal address and, is. And we can put that at the bottom as a click. Okay. Right. When, when, once, once we start doing the bidding, otherwise there's so much information flying around. Right. No, I, I, I agree. Okay. So, um, I just, I know I just wanted to bring up cause recently people have asked like, in case they don't have a PayPal, was there another way they can pay? Whether it like through credit card or whatever, just let us know how you want to pay. And you can contact us through our email, through our emails. Right. Um, at some point, if Melanie wouldn't mind putting up uh, our emails as well. Uh, and and I'll say it right now, it's very simple. Uh, mine is rex.wang at dynamite.com. Actually, Melanie, you should have it, right? You did. I, I just realized I, I saw three or four emails from, so you definitely have it. Um, at, at some point, Men Melanie will put it up. Feel, feel free to email us uh, mm -hmm. any questions. Uh, we don't have our email open during the show, so we may not be able to respond while the show is going on. Probably the best way is to ask your question in the chat. So the way to uh, uh, to bid what, or... To, uh, I'm so sorry. What is the PayPal? Pay, just PayPal at Dynamite.com. Oh, that's easy enough. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Best way, yeah, best way to send to us. But again... If someone if someone can't do that, please just let us know. Let us know. Contact us through our emails, and we'll work something out. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. We will fix. We'll, we'll we'll put this together. You all keep talking about how. All right. Are sounds good. All right. So in order to uh, place a claim on anything that you see, we're gonna have two types of items. We're gonna have buy now items, which means that the first person that is uh, that claims it in the chat. All right. And uh, uh, Omar will be watching uh, through live stream, so he'll be able to see it in the order that it comes in. Uh, it may not seem that way if you're using YouTube, but we see it in real time. Uh, so the first person, and we'll announce that, will win the item. It's a buy it now. There is no bidding. Then we'll have our best offer items, and we'll have a starting point, and then a two-minute clock, which uh, Melanie has been kind enough to keep track of. And then what we'll do is through that period of time and the two minutes, we will uh, people are welcome to throw up what they want to offer on the item during the chat. All right, and uh, I think, and Nick's here, okay? So Finally. I think Omar had some publishing issues he wanted to discuss with you. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know why my mom called me Nick? Because I'll never be in the nick of time. So it's an oxymoron. <laughs> How's it going, man? Good, good. Thanks, uh, thanks for putting all this together, you and your team. You guys are wonderful. Ah, no, we love working with you guys. I'm so glad we got to do this again. I mean, it's been... God, it's been a year. It's been a year. It's been a year because the last time we donated to the Stomp Out Bullying and Stomp Out you know, Bullying and Trevor Christmas. and Trevor Foundation. And the Trevor Foundation, absolutely, yeah. So this time around, it was around Christmas time too. So I figured it's a good time to give. And this year, it's helped someone in the industry, which is uh, which is really fantastic. I mean, Rachel Pollock was a trailblazer. She oh, was uh, one of the first writers to really bring so much into the industry god it's it's heartbreaking what she's going through sorry yeah. um but just an incredible writer who diverse and just powerful you know i i think to, I'm, to just glad we're I'm just glad we're both doing this yeah and I, i'm glad that uh you know people get to have some cool books and you know, on the side, we could donate. And, and even if you can't buy a single thing and you want to donate, you know, a buck or two, we did put the link in the description to her GoFundMe. Uh, yeah, and she was a trailblazer uh, when it came to writing characters. Like, I think she created the very first trans superhero. She did. And that she, she wrote did. a lot of herself into that story because, I mean, she's big in the big uh, – she was – oh, my gosh, she was years ahead of her time. But Absolutely. It all, uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's let's get started. Rex was uh, explaining where people can bid and stuff. So I'm welcome aboard, Nick. I'm glad to be here. Um, and, so and uh, I, I'll finish this up. You have some dynamite questions. Though. I will hit up some dynamite questions in a second. The one thing I'll say is uh, we could worry about. You know, we'll let you know what the shipping is. Um, but if today, as you win something, you can pay for what you claim or what you win in an auction. Because Omar and I really want to donate the money at the end of today to Rachel, both the percentage in our name and the percentage in Omar's name. 
Worst case scenario, we'll hit you up with shipping tomorrow. So if you could just, as you claim or as you win an auction, just hit it because, you know, we're doing something great for a great creator who is not getting, you know, she's never really gotten the recognition she deserved, but we want to help her. And if we can help her today, that's that makes it even more special. And you guys are the best audience. So... Uh, I want to thank you all. And uh, Omar, what did you want to hit up? And oh, um, uh, sure, uh, and then we can get started. Oh, I was just very. I was uh, sharing with Rex and Amy about the uh, dynamite news of Darkwing Duck and Gargoyles. I've seen covers. I've seen variant covers already. So I, I actually, this is a publishing question I meant to ask you a couple of weeks ago. Um, sure. But it, it's just one of those things that you may not even be able to answer. With Disney and you all working together on this, would it be possible to reprint the classic stories that were published by other publishers? <laughs> How do the rights fall for that? Like, actually, I can I can answer that, and you know, I'll add one little uh, one little nugget of story. This has been an almost eight year journey to wow. <laughs> get the Disney licenses. We've been talking to Disney through different people uh, mm -hmm. for eight years about doing something. And then I'm not kidding, April 1st, 2021, we came up with a plan of characters we all agreed would come together and work well for both publishers. We've announced two of them. We have more to come. Um, and then, it, you know, Disney is a huge conglomerate with so many great characters. Um, it took almost a year to sign the contract with a little bit of back and forth. And we are just so fortunate. So we're announcing it here first. Disney has given us permission because we have to go and remaster everything mm -hmm. uh, from the Marvel years, from the slave labor years, from all the years because they were not digital at the time. Disney is allowing us to release it. And fingers crossed, they've given us permission to do a Kickstarter um, that will probably launch a few days after number one comes out, which will be really good because then the Kickstarter can also promote the comic retailers with the number one. Mm -hmm. It can allow us to raise the money and create an even better uh, graphic novel. The best part is um, before Disney gave us the ability to do the Kickstarter, we were going to do two... Uh, Gargoyles graphic novels based on the Marvel years, but because because business because Disney has allowed us to do the Kickstarter, we're going to do it as one graphic novel, and we're going to print in North America to ship it quicker. So there's a lot of pluses with that. So that's the one that we're doing right now. Um, more to come on everything else, but we're focused on Gargoyles. So remember, December seventh at your local retailer, Gargoyles. And you can put in your advance orders right now for Darkwing Duck. For uh, that'll be in stores the first Wednesday in January. So it's really exciting. Yeah, uh, so I know. I have, several of my viewers have been asking me, and, and I've been curious too because I know, like, I think the last people that published Darkwing Duck were uh, Joe Books. Joe Books. But anyway, yeah. uh, we can, we can talk about this afterwards, and yeah. people are ready. Uh... Well, let's answer some questions real quick. So. Okay, yeah. Two, two minutes for uh, the auctions. Remember, mm -hmm. there is a lag time. It's usually about 15 seconds. So when you see 20 seconds in your uh, on the clock, you're probably down to five seconds. So you got to keep in mind the lag time. Um, and then the buy it nows, it's whoever buys it. So the other thing that we're going to do that uh, I emailed um, Omar and uh, Melanie so we got we got the uncanny Omar, the magnificent Melanie, the awesome Amy, the righteous Rex. Righteous and the, Rex. And that, then, and that's then, called. Uh, I couldn't think of one for Rex, so I'm just gonna <laughs> throw that one out awesome. there and stay in the flow. Very nice. And no, very nice. And, no, and the no good Nick who showed up late. That one he already had worked out on the way here. Yeah. Right. Well, not in the nick of time was the one I had worked out. I oh, that not in the nick right? of time. That one's solid. So one other thing we're going to do, everyone who does pay today, as you claim something, we're going to throw in a limited edition Dynamite Incentive comic. So a 1 in 10, a 1 in 20, a 1 in 7, an FOC book. So um, 
we really want to we really want to reward you if you if you do this so omar and melanie and dynamite and dynamic forces are combining uh a percentage so if you spend twenty dollars uh, Four dollars is going to Rachel's GoFundMe. If you spend fifty, ten dollars, we're just happy to help. So, uh, Michael, right. we have done whatnot. Whatnot's a great platform, um, but we like doing this because this also reaches an audience that's uh, really, really connected with Omar and connected with us on our collections and our comics. So this is this is enjoyable as well. So. I think uh, woke NATO. I love that. Darkwing Duck and Homelander are basically the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, Outstanding woke NATO. Touche. And Josh Greathouse loves it too. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, we can, you know, show love in a monetary manner to uh, Rachel because of creators showing love to people, right? That they can feel loved back. Um, yeah. So, uh, are we ready for the first one? Yeah, how many yeah. people we got in the house so far? How many uh, viewers? 166. 166. That's 67 now. That's a good start. What do we want to yeah. do? We want to do an auction item or a it's claim it's item? You're here, so you we got several sections, We're going to so put you guys on 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 full. We're going to be oh, here, and then we're going to share the time. Can we put that timer on? Small? Yeah. Okay. Um, so so for solo, solo, layout, solo layout them. CGC. Um, Art over here. We have um, our covers over here. What were we going to do the uh, Infinity Gauntlet at? What were we going to do this at? What's the MSRP? We're going to change it up. Uh, let me see. Of course we are. Of course we are. I got to throw some chaos in. Uh, we, can we, we still do it section own, by section? We, makes it a little bit easier on me and Brax, okay? No. No. We own Chaos Comics. I throw chaos into everything. You can see, you can see how much Amy loves the way I change things. So, 8J. 8, 8J, sorry. Wait, what? 8J. The Jim Starlin section. Uh, I want to do something different. So, Jim Starlin already. We have it at 150 Okay, so this is a $150 book. This is from Jim Starlin's personal collection. All right? Comes with a certificate of authenticity saying that it's from Jim Starlin's personal collection. Real quick, I want to show there is a crease here that was there from, yeah, Jim using it all the time. Think about this real quick. Uh, Ack, uh, Ack Hills, yes, you can bid from Canada. Just yes, you can. Me. Ack Hills, we can, you can bid from Canada, and thank you for being here. We were going to sell this for $150. Think about this real quick. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe... The three most important people arguably are Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, Jim Starlin, Thanos, Gamora, Drax the Destroyer, the Infinity War, Endgame. So much of it came from Stan, Jack, and then Jim. Now, when you look at phase four, five, and six, how much of Jim Starlin is in Shang-Chi? How much was in Doctor Strange? How much is going to be with Warlock, him, Pip the Troll coming? There is so much happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this at $50. It's 150 MSRP. If it gets to 150, we're going to stop it. But first bid is $50 starting right now. And we got the two-minute timer. Now, keep in mind, this is one of the greatest graphic novels of all time, in my opinion. Definitely one of the greatest Marvel ones. Beautiful George Perez art. Check it out. So we're starting the uh, timer now. So if you yeah. want to bid and uh, they just write, uh, what do they claim? I think is what you write. Is that what people uh, write? Oh, this one, it's a bid. So it's just bid. like just oh. like Jerson wrote okay. $4. $4. It could be $4. And Stubble Bar says $50. All yeah. right. Come on, guys. Let's do this. One of the greatest graphic novels of all time. And it is Jim Starlin's autograph. Thank you, Beelzy Bob. That's good. Let me uh, let me put you back on solo. We'll keep an eye on the time. There you go. Check yep. it out. Look right. at how C2 keyboard this is. Samurai. We got a 55. 55. 55. Who could be 55? C2 Come keyboard. Come on, let's get to 60. Tony is at 60. All right, let's. 
let's do five dollar increments too until we oh, get oh, to we 100. Chairman Troy, Tony beat you okay. by a few seconds. Oh, the Slayer, five, the baby. There we go. I'm gonna let the magnificent Melanie talk. She loves this. Oh, I'll show no. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> she, so she anybody re- can anybody be eighty dollars? She really gets into you this. Beat eighty dollars. It's still a really good deal, right? You gosh, you sound like an auctioneer. You're so good. You're better at this. I got eighty. I. I got eighty. Can I get ninety? Ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. <laughs> I get into it over those uh, peach momoko variants. We got thirty seconds. Can I show? The yeah, you can show the clock. Um, you can hit exit so it's a little way out there. You okay. Go. So there so we far, go. The, Gosh, you know, 24 seconds left. Remember, there is a lag. Anybody going to be eighty dollars? And remember, twenty uh, percent of it's going to go to Rachel Pollock's GoFundMe uh, for um, the cover the cost of her uh, cancer care. Cancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And right now she she is five seconds. I do have a little bit. That of an update is a on steal. Her. Yeah. All right, Slayer, you got it at half price. Chairman Tony, you missed it. I'm sorry. Sniping does not work here as well. It just does not work. Slayer, you got it at $80. Congratulations. Okay. Please pay when you win if you can. This is 8J. When you email us, please put in your screen name with your real name the item number this is 8j the exciting part about this book we have a few books in jim starlin's mm-hmm. from his personal collection jim starlin got most of the money and now rachel pollock's getting her 20 percent of the money so what we're asking everybody to do as you claim something pay what you claim and we'll worry about the shipping tomorrow because we want to, even if you win four things, hey, this just in comics. <laughs> That's cute. That is really cute. Uh, yes, anybody can enter. This is open to everybody, Jimmy. Um, so if you can pay as you claim, and this will, and again, we'll take care of the shipping tomorrow. For it's it's usually for six periodical books. It's ten dollars in the continental U.S. For up to three uh, CGC graded books, it's seventeen fifty. For any of the mega packs, it's seventeen fifty because it's a CGC graded plus other books. Um, so, but we'll worry about the shipping tomorrow. We just want to get the uh, we just want to get the um, money to Rachel today. Uh, you know, congrats, Nick, Slayer. Wait, Nick. Um, what I'm going to do is show the. Dynamite themed gifts for every winner. Oh, so that's right. Oh, I didn't know you got your Oh, man. So I didn't know congratulations, you did that. He's making, he's making commercials on TV of late. I forget what it was for. I feel like it's car one warranty or something, but y'all need to get yeah, him on a commercial. See, uh, JJ doing that now. Hey, Is that a veggie what? sandwich, Nick? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, so oh, here's our viewers, stay tuned. This is this is going to be good for everyone. When right. Nick fails to eat animal protein, the, the, the prices just get slashed left and right. Or period. <laughs> of course, Amy and I have a huge headache trying to keep track. Oh, All you're right. Well, uh, Look, that's, my, that's going to be my sandwich. Like, Volacus, mozzarella, this. tomato, and bread, and some chips. And I have not eaten yet today. That's why. That's why we started the Jim Starlin 150 dollar book. As a auction. Well, I got half a French dip in there, buddy. Somebody, <laughs> no, uh, it's nothing but meat. And are we in that. doing more Jim Starlin or? Somebody wanted a DC book. What do we have? DC we signed have, or unsigned? We have. They're bidding on your sandwich now. Are they really? <laughs> no. Uh, if you sold for a thousand, Chris sold, and I'm going to give all the money to Rachel. But shipping's <laughs> going to be about fifty dollars because I got to get something refrigerated. Um, yeah, let me put, uh, Slayer, we, we actually have it right there. The PayPal is paypal at dynamite.com. Right. Or you, you can guys. email Rex or Amy if you win other things. Yeah, it, and you can, it, if uh, go ahead and just send the PayPal and in the notes, just include your full name, your ship to address, and very, very important, your email address as well, uh, so that we can uh, communicate. And All Chris, right? and Chris, you could just uh, send a thousand dollars. And just say for Rachel Pollock. Okay? Yeah, but shipping is going to be 
difficult because I got to get a refrigerated thing so the sandwich doesn't spoil. You know. Exactly. And I'm going to have hunger pangs because all I got left is uh, I might take up smoking maybe because I, I tell you, I got, you I got, nice I, got half fr- uh, I got half a French dip sandwich in the fridge. So, the so, so I'm just so saying. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to say what I'll do is after the gift uh, celebrating the win, I'll also make sure to put up the PayPal information. And Wait, I'll keep awesome. this bottom one. This, uh, Mel- Melanie the bottom. is on top of it. She had two days off from the show, uh, from the channel, and I did. She got all this extra I slept energy. For four hours <laughs> yesterday afternoon. All right, let's let's ask the fans. Right, so this. What's next? Oh no, where's retract offer? All right, you know what? We'll count that as an accidental offer, Chris. We'll say you, your cat walked on your keyboard and hit that, not you. So that's a smart <laughs> cat. If only you accept SSD points from Super, Super Squad D. D. It's one of our the D is for fellow Dynamite. channels. Nice. The D is for Dynamite today. Um, nice. So we're doing DC now? Uh, Amy, what do you want to put up? Do we want to put up another? I, li- I like keeping it by sections because only it's a little bit more organized. Oh, no. Come on. We like to jump around. <laughs> Amy, yeah, Amy sounds, I like, it. Amy I sounds a lot like my wife, and, and, and I'm a scatter like bird. <laughs> let's, uh, let's pick a DC thing. All right, we have a DC CC. Uh, Psycho Bastard, it is worldwide. Uh, and shipping, I think, is uh, is estimated tomorrow, but you can pay for the items today. Uh, I, okay, yeah, Psycho. Psycho. So for uh, international shipments from the United States, um, we'll have to get back to you on that. So go ahead and send the PayPal with your ship to. Once you, if you claim and win an item, send uh, the amount for the item. And in the notes section of the PayPal, include your full name, your ship to address and your email address, and we will we will email you exact shipping to your location, uh, and depending on the weight of oh, what you want. Nick was frozen. And Jada, no, you can live anywhere. We've <laughs> shipped them. We've sh- I think last time we shipped even to Israel, so we will That's ship. Where Bar I think Bar uh, won something. I think she won That's some where kind Bar of, lives. Yeah, one of our viewers that's yeah. uh, that was bidding. She she's the one that won the Harley Quinn. How much is uh five C? Oh, here, uh, put them okay. on. So low. What exactly are you holding up there, Nick? Not so, this is $69.99. All right, so this is Detective 27. This is the Fast Simile Edition from DC Comics. I'm just going to get another thing, guys. I'll be we right back. We were able to get this CGC graded. This shipped. Uh, well, mm-hmm. I don't know when it shipped. Usually it says it here. This shipped this year. So. Okay. We are able to, we've got a good relationship with CGC. We've been with CGC since day one that they started. So when we get books graded, we get a little bit of a quick turnaround time. Um, it's the facsimile edition. So you, you may want to explain what that is, Nick, just in case. So the facsimile edition is an exact reprint of the original Detective 27. They'll put in all the old ads. They'll they'll make it look almost exactly like the original, with the exception that it this was six dollars and ninety nine cents. So oh, when I get it too close, so here's the thing. Um, I'm a huge Batman. Room is filled with everything Batman. Nice, Jaden. So here's the thing. Normally this is a hundred dollars, but on today's show we're bringing it for sixty nine ninety nine. Okay. Keep in mind, 20% of the money goes to Rachel Pollock's GoFundMe. Uh, we're bringing it in at $69.99. Now, here's the benefits. You didn't have to spend $7 to get this. Pay to ship it to CGC. Pay to get it graded. Hope for a 9.8 and then pay for it to come back. And the wait time at CGC has been up to nine months a year. They used to be up to 16 months, but they're down to like nine months to a year. So you're getting this guaranteed. Um, so a facsimile edition is is an exact replica as far as content is concerned when it comes to a book being offered. Uh, so this is a buy it now for $69.99. So this is not an auction item. This is just you want it, you buy it. So all you have to write is claim. All you got to like, do is claim five C. Because I, I see John Carlos was trying to bid on it. How's it going, brother? Um, and 
Uh, John Carlos, I tell you what, it's only sixty nine ninety nine. You don't even have to go seventy five. So, John Carlos, if you want this, it's sixty nine ninety nine. Just. I'm going to assume you want this, but just confirm before I take it off. Ritesh K, I believe, is claimed. Is that correct? Okay. Is that let, let, uh, All right. Uh, I tell you what, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Ritesh, John Carlos, I'm going to put my personal copy here so you can both have it. All right. Oh, I, have, I have a personal oh, copy. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Hey, it's, I'm excited it's for everybody. More, it's more oh, money for Rachel, so. And then John Carlos. Oh my God! Look at that! Did you see that? <laughs> Dynamite, Nick! That is so nice of you. Let's get Wally Coyote. Wow! Hey, man, you guys are the fans. We couldn't do this without the fans. And considering, matter of fact, I'm going to do one other thing. My personal copy. I'm going to give the entire sixty nine ninety nine to Rachel. So. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, let's write that down. That my personal copy, we're going to give the entire sixty nine ninety nine to Rachel Pollock. So yes, generous. Um, thank you, dude. That is that is really kind. And um, wow, yeah, yeah. that's cool. Oh man, I, I'm glad that people ended up with it. Let me um just just to go back to logistics um because somebody's asking is this simultaneously on whatnot that we, you we, are bidding here we, we will and, do a whatnot with nick um, at some point for sure and but. we will be more clear about like uh this is um this is where you write claim, down right or that when it's an auction versus mm -hmm. um claim it now yeah uh we'll, in case because people are trickling in sometimes we'll and, be more we'll be more clear about it yeah uh that i guess we could just say Auction now? Uh, you know, when I when I bring it up, the or, first thing I'll say is if it's an now. auction item or buy it now. I'll just say buy it now or auction right away. Um, and um, yeah, you know what? It's good that a bunch of people are buying the Omni. It's really really good. It's wonderful, yeah. wonderful. She gets royalties, and that's really really cool. Um, and look, guys, I don't mind giving up any of my personal copies of any items. It's always more difficult if it's the Flash or Green Lantern, Daredevil or Submariner, because they're my favorites. <laughs> but you know what? First and foremost, the fans come first. We wouldn't be here without you guys. Uh, Omar and Melanie wouldn't be as successful as they are without you guys. Absolutely. And the most important thing you could do right now, even if you can't claim anything, even if you cannot claim anything, Hit that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. Share the stream. That helps Omar and Melanie's algorithm, and that helps them grow even more. So um, let's have some fun. All right. So we have like 30 items, 30 plus items for everybody who wants to know. So this is probably going to run a little bit over two hours. Maybe have the instructions uh, underneath next time for the people in the back. That's a good idea. And for every for everyone, yeah, for everyone. Uh, All right, what do we want to do next? Would be two, right? Oh, oh, uh, I need the request for all the stuff. All right, pick a Marvel Wait. item. I mean, the stuff that we'll definitely do in order will be when we get to the vintage. When we get to the vintage, we'll do that in order. Uh, maybe Nick, a sign book? Sure. Nick, is this next oh, one a claim or an auction? This one is a buy it now. Okay, right? so all we got to write yeah. is claim. So let me, let me write that up really quick. So just that's, that's leave that one for auctions and then make one for a claim. That's it. Yeah, I got it. Omni, please. We will we'll have some boys. We'll okay, do we'll do boys one. omnis after this. All right. This is one S. This is a claim. Buy it now. All you got to do is hit claim one S if you want it. Uh, Jimmy Velakis, I don't know. I'll see if we can get a Stan Lee item. I'll see if we can do that. All right. Wolverine. Alex Ross cover signed by Benjamin Percy, limited to only 74 in the world for 1974 silver signature oh, series. That's pretty. And uh, Jared Clay, Jared got it. Wait, wait, wait yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much it is. How much is it? Thirty dollars. And it's only thirty dollars. This is a sixty-nine ninety-nine. Chairman book. Troy. Chairman Troy, it's yours for thirty dollars. <laughs> Dang man. Okay. Wow. Somebody likes Wolverine. Yeah. Right. Pretty. Thank you. Right. So, uh, Chairman, let me get you 
the skull with dynamite in his eyeballs. <laughs> Congratulations. I think out of everybody, you have the most fun doing these things, Melanie. Like, I, Oh, it I took saw. me like 45 minutes to get 23. You, <laughs> yes. were, you were destined to have fun doing this. Took that today. claim raw. <laughs> <laughs> you could set the price anything uh, at that point. <laughs> Bad Mojo, you can claim in the chat. So if you want something, you got to be the first one to write claim. So if you're driving, yeah. pull over to the side of the road. Please don't write claim if you're driving. <laughs> please, please, please do not write claim and drive. There we go. Uh, and there's the info. Like, no, we're never going to do that, Mike. Mike, we're never going to do that. Whatever the price we, we have planned, <laughs> we are never going to increase the price. You know? Again, part... Listen, going back yeah, to this again, my, uh, just, we're, right? We're bringing, uh, we're bringing the best pricing possible for multiple reasons, but raising the money for Rachel is the most important. If anybody wants to uh, donate more for Rachel, let us know and we'll take care of it. Uh, the next one is a claim. So we were asked for some omnibuses so right and there. this okay. is, Mark, it's a claim. Maybe start with the volume one. Which one's is volume one the one H? No, one H is something else. Okay, one so H, that's one H three H. Two H, three H, four H. Oh, oh, okay, two H. You okay. got my claim in the chat to buy it. First one. How much is it? So look at this. Is, one, is it? Calm this down. Is, Calm down, this man. Is, this <laughs> is having fun. Fun. She she is having fun, which is great. Can I already claim anything, Harley Quinn? Do we have anything, Harley Quinn? Take a look real quick. <laughs> what I'm going to do I is can, I mean, it's, I don't think it's in here, but I know where I can get find one. one. Okay. Um, the boys on the bus real quick. Can't we have a countdown for when to claim? Well, the countdown is when we do it. It's PayPal at dynamite.com, John Carlos. PayPal at dynamite.com. Yes, you can bid in the UK. You can claim in the UK. Super laugh hard. Uh, hey, officially unofficial geek, how are you? She was here Friday night for our other claim show. It's great to have you here. She's a huge supporter of us. Everybody hit that thumbs up. All right, real quick. This is going to be offered two ways. We have the boys on the bus signed by Garth Ennis, signed by Derek Robertson. We also have them unsigned, but we're going to promote the sign first. You can see right here. That was... Amy, I could probably use your help. I mean, I, these are the office copies, so trust me, you're going to get new copies. But these are the office copies. You got them signed by Garth and Derek. So you could buy volume one, volume two, and volume three if you want separately. How much are they, Rex? 200 They are $200 each separately. But if you want to buy all three, you want to hold one up and I'll hold another one. If you want to buy all three... You got it? Yeah, we have a uh, we right now it's once a year, Colin. <laughs> right now it's, it's once a year. it's once a year on the on, on near me conditions channel, uh, because it's it's a special event. Uh, so these three are they all signed by Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson? Yeah, uh, and, and I see the covers have a stamp that say signed edition, correct? Yep, yep, okay. We also have them on sign, but right now we thought. Let's show off the special ones. <laughs> the signed ones. The, the the premium special ones. They're both special, right? They're both limited edition. By the way, these are all going to second print. This is pro probably your last chance to get first prints. And you um, said 200 each? 200, and how much for all three, Rex? Uh, we have no price. Oh, if you want all three, we'll make it 500. So 200 mm -hmm. each or 500 for all three. So... This is pretty much the complete boys run, the first 90 issues. Uh, Jimmy, we will find something Stanley or something with Quicksilver, I promise you. Uh, I, I know a guy. <laughs> so Nick, Nick knows a lot of people in the industry. Uh, and what? how much would the non-signed editions be? The non-signed editions, the non-signed editions will be um they're a hundred dollars each and then they are all three for what do we say 250 you and i talked about it amy i think we said 250 for so all I'm, three i'm trying to remember where i wrote it down all right well let's just say 250 so um again 
And this is one of our most critically acclaimed books. This is a great series. You're getting the complete first 90-issue run. Unstoppable Bar, we do have Batman. And Amy brought out a Harley Quinn. So what do we have Harley Quinn, Amy? Um, Depends on what you want. Do you want like a CGC or commission cover art? Uh, we do not book? have... Actually, James, I have an Alf book. I can go get my personal Alf book too. I've got, I've got a cool Alf book. She said yes. So let's do the whole thing. What, 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 what's going on? Please don't make my wife bid on a stupid Alf. What's book. going on? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, so, here we go. Deleted my other Alf. Uh, and to All remind right. people, if if you are wanting to claim those books later on, just write claim and what items they are. Yeah. One we'll make one it X, one X. Make it one okay. X. So okay. you're gonna add other things. So let's make that the X category. Keep it okay. Simple, okay? All right. This is one X. Okay. One X. Rumor has it you're a big original art collector, may have some original Sandman and Crisis on. Can you confirm or deny? I I am an original art collector and I do have Crisis on Infinite Earths and Sandman pages. Matter of fact, I have a two page spread from Sandman 4 with the uh, first appearance of, uh, you ready? Lucifer Morningstar, looking like David Bowie. So, that you know is the two, awesome. You know the two-page spread yeah, when they I, did yeah, the yeah. I, I have, I have, I'll send you guys the image. You can pop it up if you Please guys want to see. Sure. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, is this going to uh, be an auction or a, or a claim? Why don't we make this as a quick claim? This is going to okay. be. We'll make this. We'll make this really affordable. This will be one hundred and twenty dollars. Okay. And what, is, and what is it? It's one X. Is it one X or X one? One X. One X. Yeah. You're going to get Harley Quinn Suicide Squad April Fool Special. This is commission cover art. This is all original art by Ken Hazer. You're going to get Year of the Villain, Villain of the Year. Harley Quinn, and this is signed by Mark Russell, and this is number two, number two of only 60, and you're going to get Harley Quinn, this is the Eat right. Bang Kill Tour, <laughs> yes. there we go. Yes, yes, I'm oh. so glad you got it, Bar. <laughs> I'm glad Bar ended up with it. All right, unstoppable Yay. Bar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bar. You get, and then I'll show the information on how to claim it, but oh, I don't have it. Oh, let's give you a boy band. All right. Oh, by the way, the value of that collection, just to let Bar know and let everybody know, the value of that collection was $69.99 for the Silver Signature Series, $90 for the CGC Graded, $90 for the commission cover art. So almost $250. She didn't write one X. I think <laughs> we knew what she wanted. <laughs> oh, and she's a big K-pop fan. Yeah. How awesome. in the All right. world uh, did you bar, know that? Awesome. There you go. That's the information. And, and remember, uh, Minties, if you go ahead and pay, you get a free limited edition Dynamite Incentive comic. Uh, for those who pay it, yeah. say win. And then uh, you'll settle shipping later, um, but that's a that's a good deal right there. I hope. Uh, wait, can you say that again? Yes. So the the Mark Russell signed Silver Signature series. It's number two of sixty, and that's a sixty nine ninety nine MSRP. The CGC graded book is when we were selling them for eighty nine ninety nine. And the commission cover art is also $89.99. So that was almost $250 that you got for $120 plus shipping. And 20% of that goes to Rachel Pollock. Uh, so you did you did really well. Like I said, we're giving you guys deals. We want to have fun. So Amy, we got another request for Harley, but let's see what we have first. I don't think there's exactly any... Well, Harley, in the, in the original lineup. But... Uh, let's throw this out there. Who wants to see a signed book? Or who wants to see a mega pack? Give me one for signed book, two for mega pack. Uh, Ritesh, uh, PayPal at dynamite.com. Uh, PayPal at dynamite.com. Yeah, 
uh, Ritesh, it's up on the screen for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got to vote two. I don't remember what two was. <laughs> uh, I hope Nick remembers, two. right? The important uh, thing is that Nick remembers. <laughs> <laughs> Nick no, Amy actually remembers. Amy remembers. I say so. Okay. She remembers. Say stuff. Oh, my gosh. It's Practice. like Melanie and I. Oh all right, so we'll take all the time. Because I'm trying to think of it. Because we got real, three really good well, sets. Have you been, brother? We'll go the, all right, we'll go with the first one. So, yeah, the first ones. Oh, somebody was asking for uh, what What do I need to email them? So, Unstoppable Bar, email paypal at dynamite.com, the fund, put in your name. Put in your YouTube name, your real name, your address, and the claim number, which was 1X. So 1X. All right. This is a claim item, okay? Is this a claim or an no, This is a best offer. This is a best offer. So Melanie gets to have fun. Cool. This awesome. is a best offer item. Two minutes. So oh, I'm getting into that. So Deadpool Secret Wars commission cover art by Ken Hazer. This is all art here. Wait, which one did you give? Uh, one, MP. one MP. No, the one MP should be Justice League. No. While they debate Ash. this. Fudge. All right. All right. Me... It's okay. All right. We it's changed okay. it. No, no. no. Please do this. It's fine. Yeah. One MP. So this is an $89.99 commission cover art. Then you're getting Deadpool. Give me a second. Because I'm going to do it right. This is Silver Signature Series, Chris Bacallo, number oh, two man. of only 30 in the world. Nice. So, guys, then, here, once he's done, we'll start the timer. Deadpool, Bad Blood, CGC graded 9.8. Again, you're getting a guaranteed 9.8. You don't have to buy the comic. Pay to ship it to CGC. Pay to get it graded. Hope for a 9.8 and pay for it to come back. It's guaranteed. So what are we starting the bid at? 50. So we're going to start this at 50. We want to start these at 50 so that if they only go for 50, we don't lose too much money. And we're still donating something uh, to Rachel, which makes it viable. So you're getting okay, at 50. starting at 50 and then $5 increments until we get to 100. And tell you what, we'll stop this at $150. If it hits 150 or the end of two minutes, we're stopping there. So you're getting a $90 book. I was going to say, Nasma's Nasma drive, uh, you got 20, but it's got to be started at 50. Look at you and your teacher voice. Like Tony. Tony's got 50. All right, now you can start your. Go ahead, 55, 55, 55, 60, 60. You know, hey, look, you've got it. I can do it. All right, anyone going to be Tony? $50 for three of these? Deadpool. We have 250, dollars $249.97. of cool collectibles here. Look at this. This is hand drawn. You don't have to wait in line at a convention to get a commission. This oh, sorry, is Tony, but I'm gonna say anybody can beat Tony. Anybody? Jimmy tried to be an auctioneer during COVID. 47 seconds left. Right here, 55, 55, 50, 60, 60, 65. Oh, oh, I can't do it because nobody's Looks like oh, T Jolly is at 55. All right, T Jolly, right, come on, guys. 55. Anybody? Right here, 60, 60. 60, 60, 60, 60, 55 dollars, 55 cents. You got 30 <laughs> seconds left. 60 dollars. <laughs> and you there's know? a lot. There's a lot of Might not get it. Greg, you and Nick don't even need me. I don't even know why I'm here. You and Nick could just do this all day because you all have the most fun doing this stuff. Remember, there's a lag and RN, we got 10 seconds left. So you're going to bid. You got to do it now. It might not get through. And T Jolly's going to get it. At $55 with three Deadpool books. Three, two. But don't count out. Don't count out. All right. <laughs> T Jolly, congratulations. Wow, what a steal. Let me give you Queen Dynamite with a laser beam. Guaranteed to blow your mind anytime. Congratulations. T Jolly, you got the steal of the day. You got the steal of the day. All right. So right. I'm gonna let go for you. I'm going to let Amy show the next item. I'm going to go get something that I think will excite fans since I just saw the word T'Challa. Oh, 
have an idea of what it is. We'll see if I'm right. You are right. You know me too well. Uh, so uh, our buddy, uh, where, where is he? Greg just got in here. And Greg, we're doing an auction today, and 20% of the proceeds are going towards uh, Rachel Pollock. And this is Nick and his team from Dynamite, Rex and Amy, and they're the ones that are hosting it. And uh, it's either an auction or a claim. So all you got to write is claim if you want to buy it, or auction, you put the number for two minutes, I think is what we're doing. And Tony, you're such a, a, a gracious person saying congratulations. And T. Jolly, the info's up there. The email, PayPal information, you get a free limited edition Dynamite Incentive comic if you go ahead and pay now, and then you'll settle with shipping later. Wow. You, I'm serious. You all could do this with just Melanie all day. And I don't know why I'm, I, I add a thumbs up and a smiley face every once in a while. He's got thumbs up. You can claim. Our, yes. Everybody's got a buying price, Greg. Everybody. <laughs> all right. What are you, all right. uh, what are we doing, Amy? Um, I, ha I have another mega pack here with me. I mix Somehow I mixed the numbers up, but it's not too big of a deal. I put this another pack I put together. I call it the Justice League set. Okay. So, and this is another one that'll start at fifty. Okay. We'll see where it goes from there. So, in this one, we have Go ahead. Go a Flash ahead. Commission cover art. Flash number seven fifty. Another one by Ken Hazer, and he's got he's using black and gold. Real, again, some of our favorite covers by him is like co Earth covers similar to me. So and using the metal pen, the pens makes it really difficult. He doesn't. We a have job. an All Star Batman signed by John Romita Jr. and this is number twenty three out of a hundred copies. All right. Nice. So, mm -hmm. uh, Naz Mistrike. And then a gotcha. Superman Rebirth CGC number nine point eight. Yeah, it's a uh, number right. one. All in one. Is in for fifty. Wow. So this starts at fifty dollars, and if you want to bid, just write the bid in the chat. My wife will have control of the what's happening. There yep, we got Naz Mistrife already in for fifty. So go ahead and start the timer, and we'll keep an eye on the oh, chat. We got Slayer in for sixty. Okay. There we go. So now it's going. Have some Hello, cool. sixty-five. The arts goes a little bit slower. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, now we talked a little bit about. So we got 70, 75. Kal 75. That makes sense. Kalo. Is anyone going to be Superman for the Superman stuff? Slayer at 80. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to stop at $150 if we get that okay. high. So when the auction ends or $150, whichever comes first. And remember, okay. guys, sniping does not work well here. The lag will kill you. <laughs> um, sniping, that's what it's called on eBay. Um, bar, just let you know, bar. We'll we'll put the we'll put the info back up here in a minute. Mm -hmm. they so don't so, so far, eighty dollars. <laughs> Can anyone? You know what, Jimmy? Know? You're right. That's the one place we can't ship to <laughs> because it blew up. Actually, uh, we have a time machine. I can't ship to Krypton. Oh, wait, wait, we have a time machine. All right, Kyle, you got to be a player. You got you got it. Wait, oh, it's, it is Kal El. <laughs> Come on, Kal El. Like. Win this. Come he's on. Like, jump, he's like, jump. I regret the choice of my name now. <laughs> now people are going to be calling me out. So, $80, 30 seconds left on the clock. Oh, good. Kal El, 85. Look at Melanie. What a. You're a. Yeah, what a that's what that's 17. Like. And now that's $17. Oh, that's $85. Oh. 20 seconds left. Wait. Slayer uh, conceded. However, there's still 15 seconds left. <coughs> oh, I like it. Take this peer pressure. <laughs> okay. Nobody else bid. Let Kal El win. Let's Yay! let's let Kal El win. Well, From the Fortress of Solitude. What? That's it. Time's up. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let me. Congratulations, Kal El. So happy. All right, so since somebody was asking, I'll show this real quick. Here's the information if you want to pay now or if you want to wait until see what else you win, but it's paypal.com. Uh, Rex, Amy, what did they need to put? Their name, what they want? Their, yes. uh, their real uh, full name, uh, the code for what they want. So in that instance, uh, let me see, Cal, that would be 2MP. Um, and then uh, ship to address, very, very important. 
and of course, um, uh, email address in, in the event that we need to communicate with you. So congratulations, Kalel. That was two MP and two yep. MP. Kal yep. uh, Put your name on it. Oh, okay, cool. And, and we could tell people would rather Amy show uh, the lots because I only got fifty-five for Deadpool, and she got eighty-five. So I think everybody wants Amy. Nick can leave. So I'm going to show one thing. I feel the same about me. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, wow. So that's now, John, John Romita Jr., right? I assume it looks like his art. And Klaus Jansen. Uh huh. This is Black Panther number two. Oh, dude, uh, from Reggie Hudlin's run, right? Yep. There's something special about Black Panther number two. I can't remember what it is, though. I love that Bass picture. Oh, that's so Are you awesome. letting them guess, or do one of us get to say it? No, let them guess. Does okay. anybody know why Black Panther number two is special? Let's see if the fans know why. You Do you own the whole issue? I do. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> I That's love, insane. yeah, I love John Romita Jr. art. He's one of my all time favorite. Thunder Hammer. Thunderhammer. Yep, you got it. First appearance of Shuri. Yep. And it, what? What's the next page? Let's see. There we go. First page with Shuri. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, how long have you had that? Years. Who knew when I bought this where it would be? I know. Yeah. It, is it in a drawer somewhere? Is that where you got it out of? Or is it in a it, secret vault? Oh, it's in the safe. Trust me, it's in the safe. <laughs> that is impressive, dude. The whole issue. I've I know that you um there's a couple of other people I've had on my show that have collected a whole issue of something, which is insane to me. Because well, we know how much original art has just gone up over even in the last five years. It wasn't but it was it was always expensive. My goodness, that is amazing. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, during the uh, this is not for sale, Hemdell. Uh, yeah, I need somebody. <laughs> oh, I got 150 on that one. Uh, <laughs> Stop it! People are gonna think they can buy it. I just want the bass double, the this double page spread. Uh, uh, yes, yes. PayPal at Dynamite is Dynamic Forces, John Carlos. Okay. So dynamic thank you for the super chat, brother. Yeah, thank you. And bar, um, I think emailing just emailing them is okay with your info. Um, if you don't PayPal, that you can pay a different way. Am I correct, Nick? Uh, PayPal is preferable. It's easier, and this way we can get all the money to Melanie today. But yes, if you don't have PayPal and you need to use a credit card, we can work on that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Look at that, claws, claw. You gotta love it. Yeah. So I like I said when I bought this years ago, who would have thought? I just love John Romita Jr. art. Like I like I said, man, on my channel, I've only known you and uh what is his name? Um uh, guy from Diamond Jep uh Jeppy. Uh oh Josh Jeppy. Yeah, gosh, to own an entire issue of a comic book. That is insane. <laughs> Everyone has a prize. <laughs> that. That um, that is crazy, dude. Like the entire and, issue. First appearance of Shuri, that's a big deal. And Kalel, there is nothing wrong, there is nothing inadequate about having Superman do today. That is awesome. Kalel, let me know if you actually want me to go pull original art with Superman on it. I actually have some original Superman art um, that I think you might enjoy. Ritesh said he forgot to add the email address when doing the payment. How can he uh can you he email? You want to email, you want him, you you want him email, email me or Rex? Or both. Oh, yeah, or both. And just say, hey, I sent this. I sent my payment. Here's my address. And we'll we'll, ma we'll match it up. All right. So. Yeah, I did not get the covers for the for the uh, community member who asked about the cover. I, I missed out on the cover, but uh i'd rather have a complete issue than the do cover you, and i got lucky <laughs> do you know who owns the cover no i don't the person who bought the cover put it in their collection and it is in a black hole until they take it out mm, um yeah. the, a roguish type the way it works is that the artist gets two-thirds of an issue and then Ninker gets a third of the issue so the my understanding is the way john and klaus did this is instead of breaking up each issue where John got two thirds and Klaus got a third, John kept one and two, Klaus got three, 
John kept four and five. Klaus got six. Um, nice. Oh, by the way, somebody early on asked if we're doing any Red Sonia omnibuses. And next year is the 50th anniversary. We will have Red Sonia omnibuses. And by the way, these omnibuses are thanks to the Near Mint community members. Omar and you guys pushed us to do these, which is why we did them, and they were successful. So I have to say thank you for you all. It was. Uh, I'm so glad. I it was got Red Sonia. They want to show that next. Okay. Yeah. Anybody want to? Okay. Red Sonia set. Everybody cool with a Red Sonia set? Sure. Yeah. Red Sonia set. Is this going to be auction or buy it now? Yeah, this is, this is our auction. 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 Three auction. MP. This is 3MP. And look, since everybody prefers Amy to do this, go ahead, Amy. And you pick the book, so you get to talk about it. Auction. So you get two minutes to bid on this. If you're just now joining, you just put uh, yeah, the price list. in the chat. Also, if you're just joining, the boys back there have not been claimed. Those are signed. Um, Amy, if you want to remind how much those are. Um, these are 200 each for the signed editions. If you want all three, it'll be 500. But we, but we also have the unsigned editions, and those will be 100 each, and then 250 altogether. Am I right, Rex? You are right. All right. All right. So the last set I had on the list, we'll see if it's the last one today, but the Red Sonia set, 3MP, consists of Red Sonia, black, black, white, red, number one, and it has two signatures by Kat Staggs and Amanda Debert. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, right here we have the Invincible Red Sony at number six, and this is the FOC cover, the TMNT homage by. Oh, oh. oh okay, that's oh, awesome. that's really cool. It it oh, is. We had, was... we had him on one of our shows once, and he was actually sketching live, and it's just amazing. Oh, he's awesome. It, it's just amazing to watch him work. That and then cool. last last but not least, we have Red Sony Age of Chaos number two, a nine point eight. The real cover, and this is again like the other mega packs. It'll we'll start it at fifty. Let's see where it goes. Okay. All right. Uh, start the timer. I'm kicking it off at fifty dollars. Okay. Uh, Uncanny Omar, fifty dollars. All right. So Omar is kicking it off for us. Mm -hmm. All right, because buddy. Because our wedding colors were black, white, and red. No, right? because oh, really? Wonder Maddie, oh, wow. red song, and she's a good friend of mine. So, oh, that's so sweet. I don't mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, anybody going to beat Omar? All right, so to remind everybody, includes Red Sonia, Black, White, Red, number one, Atlas Edition, signed by Kat Staggs and Amanda Debert. Comes with a certificate. Invincible Red Sonia, number six, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Homage, signed by Ken Hazer and Silver. Also a certificate. And okay. then Red Sonia, Age of Chaos, number two, CGC graded, guaranteed 9.8. So at uh, Omar's going to get a great deal there. If nobody. Uh, you guys are run. I'm Eric. not going to hold any grudges if anybody <laughs> outbids me. I promise. This is all no, going to a good fun. cause. It it's is. It is. Cost, so uh, um, I'm not holding keeping, anybody from there. Yeah, bidding. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one is really cool. And keep in mind, at fifty dollars, you're gonna you're gonna get a graded nine point eight. By the time you package it up. Send it, in, send it in. If you want to expedite, pay the, the submission fee plus the expedited submission fee and then wait. I don't know what their the lag time is right now, but it's it's, uh, uh, it's, it's still six to eight months. Yeah, it's still six to eight months in excess. So that's like, that's like <laughs> him <laughs> thunder hammer. This is like playing golf for my no. boss. I tell you guys what, if anybody else wins this besides Omar, I will send Omar a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle homage for free. So keep in mind. <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to do that. You don't yeah. have to do that. Uh, but I appreciate, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right. Bid. Bid. Uh, maybe I, won't kick, I won't kick off the bid next time. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Look, Hard to Savage said that's rad. That's right. You got to use Ninja Turtle speech. Rad. Oh, oh nobody else been on. Oh my gosh, man. Maddie's getting a heck of a gift. Aw. Man, they're afraid of you, Omar. <laughs> uh, that, that's that's the last bit I start. I'm sorry. I didn't want to scare. I didn't mean to scare you. Yeah, no matter who gets it, they'll go into a good cause. <laughs> All right, so baby, which 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 gift should you get? I don't need um, I don't need a gift. Let's keep going. Let's keep Simpsons. going. Okay, I'll take that one. Wait, wait, let me get rid of the <laughs> here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, nice wiring, Bart. Worked on the test corpse. There we go. 
Hey, Rick. the one thing I can ask everybody. Oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> I, every single one has something to do with dynamite. And there is another Simpsons one later <laughs> from that episode. Mike, Mike will take the free Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give one away if you send me another one. How about that? Oh, we should have given you the album. No, we don't need one. We I was going to say one. one thing. I was going to say something. So anyway, the 50th anniversary of Red Sonia, we will have some special omnibuses. But Gail Simone yeah. omnibus is available. Keep in mind, we have a hardcover Gail Simone. What is we that, are going to do that one coming back out. People have been asking me about that one. Uh, should be in the next. I think the first Wednesday in December, Diamond will have them. Okay, so it, it is for sure. Yeah, uh, Bart, go ahead and email. Yeah, email me, Bar. I'm going to go ahead and pay you, Rex. Uh, so just so I don't, I don't forget. You go on to the next auction, though. Yeah. All right, I'm going to just show okay, something. Else. We did, until we did one that. X so far, right? But not two X. Well, this, no. if you want to make it two X, are you adding yeah. something? Now 2X. Are you right. adding something? Next? I'm adding something. Then Ka just say you're adding something. We'll keep track of the. I X's. just okay. Kal El. Um, Wait. All right. This what is two X now? What is it now? Okay. Uh, Superman uh, annual pure pencils by Tom Rainey. Damn it! I should have waited for that one. You have that Wolverine by Tom Rainey. I gave you. Uh, sorry, Nick, yeah. go ahead. No worries. Uh, Hemdale, we may have something. Uh, so, Kal El, this is a, like this is like a five hundred or six hundred dollars splash. This is what I'm going to do, Kal El. I'm going to lower it to four hundred dollars. This is for my personal collection. I'm going to lower it to four hundred dollars. And I'm going to donate half of it to Rachel if you buy this, or if anybody else buys this. So if anybody buys this, I'm lowering it to $400 because it's from my personal collection. And instead of 20%, half is going to go to Rachel. So we do have some horror, Tyler, Mike. We do have some Vampirella. We will be bringing it all. Uh, Nightwing, we may have. Um, I don't know that we have X-23. So check it out. Pure Pencils, Tom Lyle. I mean, Tom Rainey, sorry. Um, Tom Rainey. Sorry, Kyle, L, but Ben, Ben Uncles, you want that? You want that? <laughs> That's a good deal, especially since you're donating half of it, Just like same bargain from your own personal collection, dude. That is awesome. Uh, let's see. You, you get, get something, something from my personal collection, and you get something from my personal collection. All right, Ben's asking what page is this? Focusing on watching the kids now. <laughs> this is Superman Annual, and I actually don't remember which annual, but Amy has it back here because she is the awesome Amy. Superman Annual number one, page 27. From 2012. So this is from the New oh. 50. Kyle L said, I'll take it. All right. Kyle L, seriously, besides the planet Krypton, where's your second home at? Is it in the United States, in Canada? The one difference on this is that shipping is $25 because we want to protect it if you're in the U.S. So just let us know. Kyle L, the uh, Amazon driver will need to orbit your planet. So you may have to send a shuttle up for the package. Uh, you get right. something. Something. I'll take that. Well, yeah. Congratulations. Dude, that's a beautiful piece. I, like you have no up. idea how close I came. And Cal, 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 just so you know, uh, this will be separate shipping charge of 25 within the continental United States. So unless you're outside of that, uh, the reason being that we can't uh, bundle it with uh, any comics that you may buy. Uh, it has to ship separately as it, it's a piece of original art. Just one, so you know. Okay, one's been. Yeah. All right, guys. This is a blockbuster deal. This is such a blockbuster deal. Is, Cal it, Al. auction or, uh, is it auction or claim These are buy it now. These are buy it now. Okay. Okay. This is going to be five items. And Amy talked me into, not that she had to try hard. But Amy talked me into doing these at how much for the most part? 25. All right. So these are $100 metal books. Metal. They are metal. They are $100 metals. The Elvira one will be $50. The rest are $25. Mm -hmm. So it even says here, caution, orders are sharp. Are, are those garbage pill kids? Yep, okay. Manbold versus Garbage Bell Kids. And that's issue number, I want to say four. <laughs> issue number four. And it's oh, the version Cal. Jason co-cover. Wow, those are cool. And Kal-El, yeah. 
Cal is saying I should not have done that, but it's for a good cause. That's that's right, man. And you're ending up with something super cool. Hey, it's a one of a kind. Only one person in the world has it. I was just a caretaker. It was waiting for you, Kal El. Uh huh. That's so sweet. <laughs> So it this is, is mm-hmm. You had Omar at Elvira. You did. Uh, Elvira <laughs> said she loves him. I love that woman, and she was amazing. That so, uh, these are cool. So, what are these issues from? So, Amy said this is Mad Balls versus Garbage Pail Kids number four. Joe Simcoe <laughs> metal cover. This is a hundred dollar book we're doing for twenty five dollars. Oh, yeah, Slayer 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 Elvira. <laughs> This one's 50. Slayer, this is the only $50 one, just to be clear. It's Elvira meets Vincent Price, I believe. Right, Rex? Uh, Yes. Elvira meets Vincent Price number two? Yes, correct. Uh, Confirm, Slayer, that you're okay with 50. Yeah, it looks like he says that works for for him. Okay. Or her. All right, Slayer. Uh, Oh, God. Well, uh, Barbarella is next. So we have the Derek Chu cover, I believe. Is that right? Uh, Yes. Yes. Slayer Chu. Mm -hmm. And as Amy, I don't have nail, so. But this is metal cover. And and Actually, that's my favorite out of all those. I like that one. That's a cool cover. (laughs) I'm, I'm emailing you back, Bar. $25, $25, that's a hundred dollar book. Barbarella. Boobarella. We all love Rodney Barnes here, right? Sorry, that's okay. Here is Rodney Barnes, Army of Darkness, 1979. Which issue number is this? I want to say number one. one. That's the Jason Alexander cover. It is number one. Number one, Jason Alexander cover. Tap on it again, Amy. So Hundred dollar book, twenty five dollar. Oh, B- Boobarella is her Simpson spoof. That's funny. And last but not least, Red Sonia Todd McFour. Yep, number four by Mirka and Dolfo. Oh, Jamie that would be cool. That is cool. And that one is forty five. No, twenty five. That one's twenty five, and it's metal. Yep. All of these, only the Elvira. Uh, was 50 because of the licensing. All of these are $25 each. They are $100 book normally. Yeah, that's like that's yeah. fun to have for 25 bucks. Put it on your bookshelf, George, show it off. George Costanza. I, heard, I read Costanza too. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, can, can, can start? Okay. I, think, <laughs> no, I, think, I think he's doing Can't Stand Ya. Remember the, uh, the high school... Uh, Sports coach kept calling him, can't stand you, can't stand you. Mm. Uh, that's right. I remember. Well, I'm just re-watching uh, Omar, you need that with your Sonya collect. Well, I'm giving people a chance because I don't want to scare them, but that red Sonya and Garbage Belt kids are kind of cool. Just saying. It's your uh, retirement on, Garbage Belt kid. <laughs> yeah. Ben knows what I'm talking about. Woo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jimmy okay. loves that episode. All right, what's next? Do we want to knock out the rest of the sign books? No, no, no. Let's uh, let's do another Starlin. God, Starlin. Uh, right, let's let's see. see. Okay. Is this a claim it? Ah, Sergeant claim Savage it. claims a Red Sonia. All right. Hold oh, on. yay! Congratulations! Yay! Congratulations, Sergeant All right. Savage. Sergeant so... Savage. <laughs> gotcha, Sergeant Savage. That Red Sonia was cool. That was. Yeah. <laughs> I, I came so close to saying you could claim, but I was giving people a chance. Oh, well, congratulations. Uh, 4, 4M is Army of Darkness, 1979. Jason Alexander cover. You know, Philadelphia artist. This is Rodney Barnes writing. George Costanza. Uh, now I get it. That's the actor to play George. Uh, George. Yeah. Jason Alexander. That's why. Jimmy, I, I tell you what. Let me throw up this one item. This is something that is considered by many to be the best original graphic novel Marvel ever created. This is also the first original graphic novel Marvel ever created. This is also from Jim Starlin's private collection. That's crazy. Wow. 
of Captain Marvel. This is a powerful book. I love this book. It was incredibly touching. We did an Indiegogo where this was available for eight hundred dollars. This is buy it now. Comes with a certificate from Jim's art agent that this is from his personal collection. This is only four hundred dollars today because we want to raise money uh, for Rachel Pollock. I'll show this real quick. Here you go, Forsaken. All right, four hundred dollars for the first ever Marvel graphic novel by Jim Starlin. I'm going to carefully open this, take it out. I want to show you the condition. So it's the first one by Jim Starlin, or it's the first one no, it's ever. A, it's the first Marvel and it's graphic by, novel. Okay, Jim Marvel Starlin. graphic novel number it's one. It is both. Oh, by the way, it's a first print. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Man, that is There's, cool. Yeah, one of the most powerful stories you'll ever read. Absolutely. I agree with that. It's a beautiful book. Uh, By the way, let me, add, let me add one little thing real quick. Some of these books are really expensive. So if anybody wants to put 25% down and pay within 30 days, at the very least, the 25% down... We'll give 20%. the twenty percent to uh, Rachel right away. So if, you, but look at the condition of this. Look at the spine. Yeah, that is really nice. And Dynamic Force <coughs> Studio uh, is claiming for him. No, that's them. No, 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 that's me, Melanie. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, that sounds like Dynamic <laughs> Studio. <laughs> no, uh, Andrus had a question, so I was just clarifying for him. Oh, okay. And uh, you can leave that in the background, Nick, and we can, um, you know, let people know that the books in the back haven't been claimed yet. So if you're interested in one, Nick and Amy and Rex can remind you of the prices on those if you're if if you're wanting to look at it. Uh, but those are signed boys omnis, and then this one is signed by Jim Starlin from his own personal yeah, collection. Right this is considered one of the greatest graphic novels of all time, and I will show you. Look. You got Star Fox crying when he finds out that Captain Marvel's dying. And, and little known fact, Jim Starlin also snuck in Superman in a page. You know, you know about that one, right, Nick? No, actually, I don't. You don't? Okay, look. Um, uh, gosh, I hate to do this live, but it's in the page where the, all the characters are mourning him. Like all the characters are around, you can see Superman's hair, and you can see his boots and like the bottom of his cape. And he snuck him in the background. Four hundred dollars, uh, John Carlos. It's a it's cool, man. Like how he was able to sneak him in there. I mean, what Jim did here, I get goosebumps. I mean, you can see my hair standing. Up. I mean, you can see. I love this graphic novel. Um, let's see, there's just Jeff. Are you taking it? I mean, even. The yeah, scrolls. I think he was answering John okay. Carlos's question. Yeah, the someone, someone's saying congrats. Because I was oh, okay. <laughs> Essex is trying to sell Jeff on it. No, I think Jeff was just, if you want to okay. claim it, just write claim. Yeah, you got to write claim. I mean, even the scrolls pay tribute for him being such a great warrior. Um, so, I mean, I cannot tell you. Look at this page. Okay, so let me see. Superman's hair, boots. I'm going to have to look more closely. Yeah, it's where all the heroes are around. Uh, he, he wrote it in there. It was, it, Or he drew it in there. It was really cool. <laughs> if this was one of those live auctions, he'd be screwed. <laughs> uh, one of the best graphic novels of all time. So, like I said, if anybody wants to get this and put 25% down and the rest in 30 days, um, I mean, look at what he's done with some of these pages. 
I would kill that on that page. Okay, I wouldn't kill. Uh, but I mean, uh, yeah, man, those, those last few pages are rough when he's sitting there and it's like, uh, you know, he, he just yeah. comes to terms with that he's dying. There's nothing he can do. And it's on the back cover. If you look at the back cover, that's where Superman okay. is. Thank you, Phil. I remember the uh, the splash page. I couldn't remember where it was. But it's like on the right-hand side. This is just... Here's a, the one I was showing you real quick. Uh, somebody's claiming the Army of Darkness, number one. Or am all righty. You got it, sneaky. Nice. Uh, new. We scrolls are a martial race and have long respected your skills, deeds, the courage, even though you are our foe. And then the next page, just really great. That is why I have come to, by the order of the Imperial Council, to present you with this the Royal Scroll Medal of Valor. I salute you, Captain. Like I said, like, I remember being goosebumps. goosebump camera. I remember being 12 years old, 13 years old, wanting this so bad. Took me six weeks to save up to get this. 595 in 1982 was a hell of a lot of money. So signed by Jim, certificate of authenticity from the artist choice. Uh, and 25 percent down the rest within 30 days we're good with that 20 percent of the money goes to rachel even if you go with the 25 percent down the 20 percent to rachel goes out right away so so sneaky here is the paypal information if you look on the or um, email because you need to send the info of like your real name how to contact you you know uh, <clears throat> stuff like that to make sure that you're the one that gets the army of darkness. All right. So do people want to see vintage books at this point? Do we want to show some classic books? What do vintage or more CGCs? We have a couple of trade paperbacks if people want to look at them. Let, why don't you do the vintage and I'll go find this Stan Lee book. Somebody, wow, Stan Lee. Somebody's been asking for a Stan Lee book a few oh, times. That's so. true. And I uh, remember people, at least one person asked for a trade, right? Him right, vintage. vintage. The fine Let's vintage. Go, vintage. Like, old, old, older than 40 years. Right? Phil Owens, different. we are. So, um, and we would have to uh, go ahead and pay for whatever you win or claim uh, this evening. And then uh, uh, in the notes, the PayPal notes, make sure to include, include your ship to address um and your email address and then we will we will get exact shipping for you uh tomorrow uh and there is, is 90s 90s is vintage now be quiet who said that jimmy <laughs> shut up jimmy <laughs> um are you shipping to the uk that's what he answered oh you did okay. yes no. yes no. we are shipping to the uk okay all right sorry amy Let's go ahead the vintage. all right so the majority of what the vintage books we have here are x-men but there is a, sp a very special Vintage book that will be at the very end. So, but first up, we have one V, and that's X Men number twenty-seven. Are these buy it now or uh, yes? So these buy are claim, right? All right, there we okay. go. And what's the price on this one? A uh, hundred and fifty, and it's a presumed grade of a seven point five. Okay. okay. Let me let me take the sticker down, and you can get a better look. One hundred fifty. Re-enter the mimic. That's my daughter's favorite villain. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I can't call out the whole lot. Right. <laughs> I used to have all these. I, I oh my gosh, I had these vintage books. All right, two V is X Men number thirty one. Cobalt Man. Mm -hmm. All right, and it's a presumed grade of a five point oh, and we have it for a hundred dollars. Okay, and these are claim. If you if you're wanting, just write the claim and the and the lot number. That's two V. Mm -hmm. Up next is X Men number thirty four. This is three V. Hope I'm trying not to get the glare. No, yeah, no, it's so difficult. 
Yeah, but you don't want to take it out. Accidentally drop it. Now. <laughs> Goodness, now. Presume grade of a 5.0, and we have the one available for $75. Okay. Ooh, Matt said, yeah, give us issue details. Where are we calling the other? Who, which, what issue was that, 34? Yes, number 34, War in a World of Darkness. Come on, baby. I'll hold it up again. Uh, who are they fighting? I can't even Where tell. This is the Silver Age stuff. Oh, Matt, you got him. He knows 98% of everything <laughs> except <laughs> this. Okay. I mean, I can tell you this was definitely written by Roy Thomas. And I think the artwork. <laughs> no, I don't think it's Warner Roth. I think it's Dan Atkins, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody correct me on that. Dan Atkins draw this one? Uh, I think he did. A roguish type. He sold a lot of his long boxes to get the collected editions. Yeah, we don't need to talk about why I sold womp, them. Womp. It was bad. And I think it's part of the Factor 3. Yeah, so the Factor 3 appear in this. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Amy. Sorry. My wife just wanted me to right. go. Up next is honestly the next few issues are all together. So well, well, I should I should say I should say in order. So because this one's X-Men number 36, and this is 4V. Uh presumed grade of a 4.5, and we have the one available for 75. Would you like some details on this one? I don't know this one. Are you, okay. Well, <laughs> it, 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 Rob, Ross, Ross, Ross Winter did the artwork on that one. I remember that. Bill said it was Dan Atkins. Dan Atkins was the previous issue. That's Ross Andrew. I can. Yeah. I, I remember. Uh, but I knew it wasn't Warner Roth. And again, this was the Roy Thomas era of X Men, Silver Age. We have the next one, X-Men number 37, the 5V. All right. Presumed grade of a 4.0, and we have the one available for 60. You guys have, like, the entire Factor 3 saga in there. See? You know what you're talking about. Uh, sort of. That's another one that's... Uh, that one's Ross Andrew as well, I think. Uh, so it's the, the factor three are like wait, wait, Eunice, the untouchable, the blob, mastermind, and the vanisher. Why would you say that? And then that one is the first appearance of the mutant master, though. There you go. And I don't think he did anything with that character after that. And then, yeah, X Men number 38, 6V. So, yeah, we have a nice little run right there at 36. Yeah, that's, 36. Seriously, that's like the entire factor three saga. So this one is a presumed grade of a 6.5, and we have the one available for 100. Um, Jeff's saying these are great books. I made Essex laugh. There you go. With your mom. Thanks. I appreciate your that. Mom, your mom goes to college. Ross Andrew and Don Heck Inks. Look at Phil. Phil knows his stuff, too. Almost trying to redeem himself. I couldn't remember what she's like. My friend's appearance is that. Thank you, Amy. Matt started it. <laughs> All right, so, so we kind of skip an issue because this one's number X Men. This is X Men number forty, and look who's on the cover here. Oh, Frankenstein's monster! I like this issue. Look at you so, presume grade of a four point oh, and we have the one available for one hundred. But it's a like a rare appearance outside of like the Marvel horror stuff. The, it's like Roy Thomas loved using these characters. No, I was like giving you props for saying Frankenstein's monster instead of Frankenstein. I would have said Frankenstein. Well, I mean, so. oh, Jeff, say, do you have any like Jim Lee X Men? Is that vintage? I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I'm sorry. Look at me! Um, I know things about mutant beings. Thanks, Barb. Mutant Bar. beings. <laughs> Where's off screen Wikipedia? All this, dude. The cover has Frankenstein's monster, and I can tell you, spoilers. <laughs> He don't make it out of that issue. Mm -hmm. Just, they kill Frankenstein's monster? I'm pretty sure you know how these stories always end. What? His name was Adam. Oh, yeah, I'm not reading that, but... He was a robot. He was a robot. That's right. Ah. All right. What do you... What, I'm sorry, Amy. Go ahead. Right. Number 8B is X-Men number 118. So, def, def, big jump ahead. I think that's... Right. Most, is that the Moses Magnum issue? I want to... 
think that is the first appearance of Marco. And it's so this one, this one's in really good shape. This one is a presumed grade of a 9.0, and we have the one available for 80. Yeah, Moses Magnum is in this one. I thought so. Yeah. Uh, John Burns artwork. Yeah, uh, official on uh, officially unofficial geek. Yeah, you're right. 90s is vintage now. Yeah, I guess. And then we have X Men 119. This is 9V. Yeah, also there he is. Shape, uh, presumed grade of 9.2. And we have one available for 95. There's a really cool retcon with Moses Magnum that Apocalypse actually gave him his powers, but that wasn't until years later. I thought that was really cool. But this is the classic stuff. This is the original. Uncanny. And then our last X-Men is number 128, and this is going to be 10V. Uh, and a presumed grade also of a 9.2, and we have this one available for 85. That's the Proteus Saga. That's an awesome issue. Uh, beautiful artwork by John Byrne, Terry Austin, and of course, Chris Claremont writing it, but uh, I, lo I love these issues. It's the day reality went wild. You know why? You know, no. what does Proteus do? Uh, changes reality? Good job. That was <laughs> also easy from, the, from that subtitle. Okay. Uh, um, oh, wait, you're asking for Omar. <laughs> for, for Omar. We're, we're no, he's that. good. He's good. I'm, cu I'm curious what Nick is bringing back. Um, he said Stan Lee. He, he, he must have forgotten the code to the vault for Stan Lee. Um, here, I'm going to... Let's see. There we go. Oh, she, uh, and she had another issue. Oh, though. I'm sorry. Here, go ahead. Uh, I said, it's not an X... It's, these are the only X-Men we have, but then we thought this would, this would be really nice to put on the show. Well, since, you know, uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever just came out, we thought, um, why not show off the first issue with Black Panther himself? So. Oh! oh, yeah! All right, so this is a presumed grade of 4.5, and we have the one available for 700. Well, we know, it's, it's, it's the big one. Yeah. yeah. We, we do the, the payment plan on this yeah. one as well. Yeah, anything big like this, we are we accept payment plans. So you got so anyone wants to think about that. 25% down and then the balance in 30 days. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dude, that that's an awesome just piece. Saying, wow. It feels good just holding it. Like I, like, I know what I'm <laughs> Gives you a certain kind of power, that's for mm -hmm. sure. When you're holding something that that vintage. She's got the power. Oh, she's got the power. Did you I, all quit telling him he needs this stuff. I just bought Red <laughs> Sonja and it wasn't even for me. Yeah, I don't know how much, how close I can give you the details, but yeah, we think it's about 4.5. I don't know how good you can see the details on the edges right here. Um, ben is asking how much for FF. So this the one right F there. F uh, is <laughs> officially official. She gets hold with special class pinkies out. I gotcha. I gotcha. Pinky one and out. Pinky out. But yeah, it's se it's seven hundred, but we're willing yeah. to do a payment plan for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seven hundred. We're willing uh, to yes. do a payment plan. Uh, Manual. We are mm -hmm. doing an auction, but there are some items that are selling. Yeah, these are. Um... Claim it now. Jeff's like, I'm not telling you how much it is anymore because he's the one that told us that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, good morning. I'm going to assume you pronounce your name Manuel. We say Manuel because our his brother is, he, he goes by Manuel. Um, is, do you know, maybe tell you my story with like Silver Surfer. Like, oh, that's awesome. I remember. Mm -hmm. You share that story with us. Uh, I think it was in the Sil Silver Surfer Black uh, overview. Gotcha. Um, so Ben, yeah, I hope you heard there's a payment plan. You could put money down for that. And that's a cool freaking book, man. Like uh hmm. hey Betty to Ray Jim. So if you're just joining us, the things in the back are for uh here, let me put both of us on the screen. Um for buy, okay. buy it now. 
Mm -hmm. And um, if you're interested, anytime during the chat, you could write, you know, how much is blah, blah, blah back there. And we're waiting on um, Nick to bring back something, Stan Lee. Is there anything um, that we could auction right now? Uh, yeah. You know what? I'll tell you what. Let's do let's do a CGC auction. All right. Okay. You guys ready for a CGC I'm auction? I remember which one. Uh, one C is a. Oh, five. first one. All right. Uh, All right. So this one is one C. One oh. C is a cat. Okay, and it is ultimate first. fallout facsimile edition number four, and mm -hmm. it is a CDC 9.8 guaranteed, and it's going to be a best offer item starting at 35. Uh, and facsimile for the people that don't know, uh, Rex, can you explain what it is? Yeah, a facsimile is a uh, a reprint, a pretty much a perfect reprint with ads and everything else in it. Uh, for usually, all oh, right. Uh, official, unofficial. Gotcha. Gotcha oh, there. I'm sorry. I was just uh, letting Rex explain what it is, the facsimile. All right. Two um, minutes. All right. So officially unofficial geek, $35. He's in at that 35. A good starting <laughs> point. Uh, <clears throat> Matt, we do have trade paperbacks and that's something we could probably get to after this. Um, so yes, uh, so a facsimile is basically a reprint that reprints everything, including ads and, and, uh, uh, the exact pages of the book. Uh, usually, you know, we find them for books that, uh, where the first printing are just beyond the, uh, uh the means of mortal man. Um, you know, okay. those of us that, that can't afford exorbitant prices, uh, for graded, uh, 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 copies of books that have been extremely, oops, sorry, extremely popular, uh, facsimiles take that spot. Um, so at 35, when you, you take into account uh, getting it packaged, shipped, paying for the shipping costs, the, the submission fees, plus any expedited fees so you can get a little bit faster. And then the problem is you don't know what you're going to get when it gets home. And I would say that 99% of the time, it usually comes back uh, a lower grade than the submitter would have thought. Um, uh, you're, you're right, uh, 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 OU Geek. Um, you're absolutely right about that. Uh, facsimiles are no joke. Uh, some of them, some of them, you know, are, are extraordinarily collectible, especially the ones that are, uh, key issues, um, that have been extremely popular. So anybody want it more than OU Geek? I'm so sorry. We, uh, just you $40. Anybody want it for 40 bucks? That's just $5 more. Or $36.50. Oh, wait, wait. Well, no, Nick said go buy $5 English. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we want to get, we want to get um, Rachel at least another dollar for every increment, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's why. True. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And guys, keep in mind, that's a $100 CGC graded book. That's the normal MSRP is $100. So getting it at any price here is a steal all right oh you geek congratulations yeah, $35. i decided to stop saying officially unofficial geek because it was getting too long uh -huh. and let's see you are going to get the adventures of pete and pete what i'm bringing the dynamite what's that got to do with that <laughs> okay he's bringing the dynamite it's pete and pete you guys know pete and pete and uh Officially unofficial geek does too. So there. <laughs> uh, congrats. He does. Okay. All right. Well, congratulations. That's awesome. Best theme song ever. Good deal. Saying thanks. I found something else from my personal collection. Oh, Let's Nick. Put up. Um, you and these personal collection items are making things so tempting. What do you got? Oh, you geek. There's. The <laughs> oh my. Oh my gosh. She's why? Gonna... Why what? do you even have this? What? Three, what what issue is that? Number 29 with the 3D glasses. I bought it for $10. That is 10, right? Yeah. I'm going to sell it for the same $10 and give all the money to Rachel. So wait, wait, wait. let's it, give Melody the first chance to get it. Is it is it claim? No, you get you have first chance. No, let's $10. Bid. Exactly I'm, gonna, I'm going to buy it. Do not it. bid on this. I'm going to buy it, but let's bid on it. All right? No, Mel, can, we, can, we, can we bid no, on it? Just buy it. $10. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I say, well, all right. Claimed. And all the money is going to go to Rachel. 
James might want to bid. James does not want to bid. Look at that cover. That is awesome. Well, thank uh, you. Josh is going to pay for it and wants me to ship it to Melanie. That's awesome. No, no, no. Uh, we got we got it. Thank you, though, Josh. Nobody's going to bid against <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants this stupid book. Why do you have that, Nick? That, wait, let me show. Nick, me your something. collection must be insane if you just dug that out going, oh, people want to see. People want to see. Uh, this is I... actually one of the hardest ALF issues to get. Is this it? is actually a hard one. That's, so. that, this will be great for my uh, five year plan of making an Omni. Okay, yeah, you do there that. It's going to be forever. You, you do that, man. Because I forget I'm doing it. it. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to keep reminding myself this goes to a good cause. Oh, I, I guess. Yay. Good right? Job. Instead of me buying it like on eBay or whatnot, or hey, wait, literally, whatnot. Uh, that's why they call it whatnot. There's so dun, dun, dun. many revelations coming today. They, thanks. Josh, I have the reprint of the Nick or of the Nick. I have the reprint of the seal. I ain't paying that much money for it. It's just going to be Thank unbound and bound again. So that's good. Thank you, Nick. Yes. My pleasure. All right. So I could not find anything uh, with uh, Quicksilver, but considering Black Panther is out, I have Fantastic Four. Four with Submariner and Sue Richards, issue number 585 from the Hickman Epting Paul Mounts run. Oh, signed by Lee. Is this buy it now or auction? This is buy it now. So this right. is going to be $700. This is number 18 of 44. We actually went to get 50 of these signed, but six of them came damaged. So only it's limited to 44. $700. You want to put 25% down and do a payment plan? We can do that. This way, 20% could go to Rachel right away. So don't show read that cover, right? <laughs> Cal, Al, Omar, I've already spent $500. <laughs> Just keep saying it's for a good cause. It, it, is, it, it really is. You're it good. Is. You're good, Cal. Al. You're good Just guy. remember Cal, one great. thing. In FF27, when he was fighting uh, the thing, Human Torch and Reed Richards, all they more said was, let Sue make a decision because Reed was fighting for Sue not to make a decision. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris coming to fix the X Men. Uh, I, don't, I haven't heard Omar. about that. That's an Omar question. That sounds like a Marvel question. Uh, I, I haven't heard about that. This is really cool, dude. I can't believe you have the first appearance of Black Panther, too. And, and both of these now, the Stanley signature, Nick, you and Rex and Amy know more about this. If somebody wanted to CGC that book with that certificate, like does that? I don't know how that works. They would not. They would not because we did not have any of our. We know Stan signed this because we worked directly with Stan and Max, mm -hmm. but because we didn't do it at the time as an official CGC signing, they would give it a green label. Uh, but you do have the Dynamic Forces certificate of authenticity. So again, seven hundred dollars, number eighteen of forty-four, signed by Stan Lee, from the Jonathan Hickman run with Steve Epting and Paul Mounts. You could do twenty-five percent down. This way, twenty percent can go to Rachel Pollock right away. And then, look, if you need up to two months to pay for this, we'll wait. You know, just give us twenty-five percent down. Maybe another twenty-five percent within thirty days, and then the rest within sixty days. I know it's a lot of money. All right. So did any of the uh, vintage get claimed? No. Not oh, yet. man. Re-enter the Mimic, the second appearance of the Mimic. Um, oh. I was saying that uh, for if you just joined or, oops, you changed your mind, that uh, just ask in the chat about any of those comics back there, the boys' omnis that are signed. <laughs> And uh, we'll definitely catch that in the chat and answer your question. That is a very specific book. Gold Key Star Trek number one. Give me one minute. What? Oh, it's going to be longer than one minute. Just to let you know. Oh, man. <laughs> poor, poor Amy. All right. What else? What do you, you guys want to do some auctions while Nick's away? Uh, yeah. What else do we have up for uh, auction? I can't remember right this second. Let's see. What the there Vampirella. was a Vampirella cover that I saw that I kind of piqued my interest. Okay, here's the deal with this. Oh, wow. He already has oh, it? Oh, Nick. 
I will only sell this if you buy the entire run. This is the entire run of Gold Key Star Trek. Whoa. Dude, where did you ben? Ha- where did you have ben? that? <laughs> Actually, this just arrived like two weeks ago. So this was pretty close. That's why I knew I had it. Okay. It's that entire... makes like... <laughs> How many that, issues that's... is that? I have no idea. I don't remember. I just got the last two. So I've been putting this together for a while. But this is going to a good cause. So I finally got these last two last week, which is why I had them handy. I... That's what I thought. I'm like, yeah. imagine just I randomly said, pulling out a whole run said, like that. Like, uh, first of all, said, this, is, my beer. <laughs> this is so like niche. Like, nobody just pulls a run of Gold Key Star Trek comics. I've never heard of that. That took me a while to put it together. So, hey, Kent Wingslide, all you got to do is hit that thumbs up. Help Omar and Melanie by hitting that thumbs up. That's a lot of support. I'm just oh, want to see these organization. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, again, he this was. was. Nah. He knew where it was. That's the thing. Like, it might look like a madhouse to <laughs> anybody else, but we know where our stuff is. Amy will tell you everything is chaotic. <laughs> it's organized chaotically. She sighed. So. Like my wife sighs um, at my stuff. So Ben, or I'm sorry, Matt. I. Don't super chat because uh, YouTube takes the cut of it. It's a lot. Um, in the description, we have a link to Rachel Pollock's uh, GoFundMe. Yeah, so it, yeah, it, she it, could direct. So all the money uh, goes directly to her. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just go straight to Rachel Pollock's GoFundMe. It's this in the link in the description. description. Or you could go to GoFundMe and search Rachel Pollock. All right, this is what I'm going to do with this. This is the oh. entire run. If somebody wants the entire run. I'm going to sell the entire run for $400. All right. What kind of shape is that number one in? That's what huh? I'm asking. What kind of shape I is know. number one in? Uh, I'm not breaking it up. That's the one thing I'm not going to do. Uh, I'd say it's about, you could press this. I'd say it's about a 6.0, and you might be able to get better. That's how I sold all my new mutants. People just wanted number 98. That's not not number one. I've got these out of order. I'm sorry. That's not even number one. Sorry. I apologize. You knew. Oh, oh, it's not number one. Okay. Yeah, that's not the first issue, but this is the entire run. So let me just see. So that's how I had to get rid of my new mutants. People just wanted issue 98 or 87. And they were like, and I'm like, no, you got to take the whole lot because I know if I keep like, even half of the lot. I'm going to go and rebuy all the other ones in single issue format. Is that the first issue? Honestly, they're not numbered, so I don't even remember. But I just want to show how awesome the painted covers are. Oh, there's no number issues on there? On some okay. of them, there aren't. Yeah, they just put them out. Uh, Psycho Bastard was asking about Star Wars. Uh, do we have Star Wars? We have one Star Wars item, at least. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking Let's for Star, Star Trek issue, issue number. number. Like we want to just these are our last few CGCs. Uh, what the Vampirella ones in auction, and the rest, the other two are buy it nows. Let's do the two buy it nows. You're right. Let's show the two buy it nows. Okay. So the Star Wars that was being asked so, for. So if you're interested in any of these, all you got to write is claim. In the chat right now, this is claim 4C. What's the what's the this is a $90 MSRP? What are we selling it for? 77 77 dollars for 1977 and down. guaranteed 9.8. You can check it out. This is CGC oh, great again. First of all, this is like a $40, $50 key right now by itself, even ungraded. So you don't have to buy the comic, pay to ship it to CGC, pay it hey, to me. get graded, pay for it to ship back. Those gold keys. Uh, this is, I thought Rex said 70 cents. No, $77. <laughs> $77. So 
this is and you don't have to wait the eight months to a year to get it back because they are backed up. That's a long uh, time. So seventy-seven dollars for nineteen seventy-seven. And again, this is a forty dollar key issue, fifty dollars with some people. I don't remember why. Oh, look, and it has a dynamic forces out on the back. <laughs> Uh, hold on really quick. Uh, the number one issue has Spock on it with pink on the background. And it does. I was looking at it. It's got uh, Kirk and Sulu and the... And this one? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, it. that's it. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'd say this is closer to a 4.5. So, again, um, it, it's the whole thing if you want it. $400. I'll just start over to buy another set. I'll just start all over. So, but it's going twenty percent goes to a good cause. Uh, let's see, I do not have Legends of the Dark Knight one ninety two here. I'm sorry, Super Lab House. And number uh, one Star Trek great at four point oh is going for three seventy five in bad condition on eBay. Just oh, wow. Oh, there you go. Oh, hey. the boys here. Which one? Who's my boy? Super Ninjito, Laugh Hard? Ninjito. Ninjito's my boy? Oh, no, that's Bar's boy. Oh, okay. They're right. speaking in, uh, what language is that? Hebrew. Hebrew. Any Tom McFarlane Hulk art. Woo, you guys. All right. Uh, Nick, what's next, buddy? I'll, yep. If anybody wants to claim that, you can write claim is on the auction. The no, that's All right, Spider Punk. Spider Punk number one. How much is this? Six, is it 62? I wanted... That's my that's my oh, guess, sixty two dollars. So this is sixty two dollars. Spider Punk number one, CGC graded nine point eight, and this is very difficult to get in the high grades. Hey guys, you know what? I'm making the show run right. longer than uh, it should because of me jumping around. So what I'm going to do is stop jumping around because Amy and Rex and you you, you do are. have a you have an X Men by Claremont back there though. You have two two. I believe it's 118 and 119. It's the most is Magnum stories. I yes. can't remember. Uh, 118 yeah, remember. and 119. Okay. He's asking for 104, one of the Dave Cockrum stuff in the second burn. Uh, yeah. So if you're interested in this one, just write claim. And that one's $62. And the code as well. Yeah. The, but let, the code is 3C for Spider Punk. Okay. And this one's the auction. So we're going to start right off the bat. This is an auction. Vengeance of Vampirella, Lucio Parillo, issue nine. Check out the cover. Let's start the auction at $25. All right. Okay. So in auction mode, you put in, if you want to start the thing, $25 and two minutes for the auction. Good luck, everybody. Right. We're starting this at $25. Let's try and keep $5 increments. CGC graded 9.8, guaranteed. Check it out. Lucho Parillo. Uh, uh, Jimmy, no FF150. I know I don't Rogue have Rogue type spider punk is going to be in the Spider-Verse movie. How exciting is that? Yeah. Um, what's I'm his so name? What's movie. his name? Uh, the guy from... Uh, Daniel Kaluuya. Yes. Yeah, he's going to be spider punk. Yeah, I heard so, about that. Come on, twenty-five dollars. Let's get let's start this off. Somebody come in at twenty-five dollars. Don't let Vampirella feel lonely. It's a nine point eight wow. dark cover, harder to get a nine point eight guaranteed. Right now, twenty-five dollars is cheaper than the cost of getting it graded at this point. Mm -hmm. So and twenty percent of the money is going to Rachel Pollock. So let's get this going. Come on, somebody come in at twenty-five. Yeah, that would be fun to have on your bookshelf. You're right, uh, officially unofficial geek. You know, the Marvel comics are a little bit harder to get 9.8s because the uh, covers are printed with the same stock as the interior pages. So, oh, for um, that Spider Punk? Yeah. Man, Vampirella's going to feel abandoned. Wow. <laughs> Can't even get a $25 bid. You're breaking my heart. This is a dynamite book. Oh, my God. It's true. Wow. Oh. Any chance for more metal books? Just the two that we have left. I, like I said, the, I, I'm making this run longer, so we gotta we gotta speed this up a little bit. So nobody's coming in at twenty five bucks. Twenty five. 
$25. That will look beautiful. Oh, right, there Mike. you go, Mike. $25. Awesome. Thank you, Mike. Coming in at the last second. Right? Yep. Mike came in at the nick of time. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations, what a freak. Mike. That, that's a steal. And I'm going to give you a wrestling gift. Dynamite. Oh, nice. AEW <laughs> Dynamite. Yeah, you know that. <laughs> Uh, congratulations, man. Yeah. That's a good deal. Uh, so let me put the uh, contact info up and how to pay for that. There we go. All right. Let's see. Info, um, email. Uh, let's do Jim Starlin. You. Okay. Yeah, let's do, uh, let's do Batman the Cult, one of my favorite all-time Jim Starlin books. Beautiful Bernie writes in art for Jay. This is from Jim Starlin's personal collection. Check it out. Certificate of Authenticity. This is only $200. This is a buy it now. So okay. if you want it, claim 4J, claim Batman the Cult. Uh, it is criminally underrated. Matter of fact, I'm going to let Amy talk about this. I'm going to do one more thing, which is going to freak a few people out. But this is, I'll show you how much I love this series in a second. I'll be right back. Oh, man. But, it's 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 part of personal collection. Uh, did he show off the certificate? We made sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Certificate. Okay. Um, how much well, is it? I have more to say, but I'm really just the person who puts everything together. 200. I'm gonna... We have 200. one available for 200. Okay. It, it, it's an awesome story and very underrated. Absolutely. It's a, uh, and it's one of these books that DC lets go out of print too, unfortunately, because it's all part of like, uh, I guess the legends of the dark Knight non-canon stuff or canon, depending on who you are, but it's a great story. Amy, is it signed or no? It, yes, it is. All right. So hand signed by Jim Starlin as well. I don't know how well you guys can see. I mean, it's in black. Yeah, it's but... a little glary. Oh, um, that's where it is. It's right here. Is it, it one collected edition? It is. It is. That one's all collected in that. All right. So it looks like Sergeant Savage is claim, claiming it. All right, Sergeant Savage. Congratulations, Jeez. Sergeant Savage. Congratulations. Right. And I'm giving you popcorn, Sergeant Savage. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> all right. What you got, Nick? Wait, what do we? Uh, this is an original page from Batman the Cult. Oh, wow. Nice. Just thought everybody, when I'm telling you how much I love Batman the Cult. It, there you go. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Awesome. I have this page and I have the page with Batman with the machine with the machine gun. Saying, tell the deacon the Batman is coming. Where he calls oh. the Batman. Uh, Rich, the death of Captain Marvel is still 400. Yep. 400, Rich. Look, Jeff, Jeff said he wasn't going to tell anybody the prices anymore. He still did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey. So they got the death of Captain Marvel. That's the big one because it's the first printing. And it's signed by James Starlin with a certificate. And we had these on our Indiegogo campaign for 800, but because we're donating 20% to Rachel Pollock, uh, we're uh, super laugh hard. You cannot claim the original art. Uh, <laughs> you said please and thanks, though. I was say, speaking of original art, we want to show off what we have here. We do have three pages of original art to uh, uh, show. Technically four. Four. Oh, this one is a double charity. Let's show the double charity first. Although, okay, so 4A, this is really, really nice. So this is Bob Layton in homage. Oh, I saw this. Wow. Okay, so uh, is this, this a buy is, it now? I'm sorry. It's a buy it now. This is a buy it now. It's $1,800. 20% is <laughs> going to go to Rachel Pollock. Most of the rest okay. of the money is going to go to the Lufthan Cancer Research. Is Luft Garden. Luft Garden. Luft Garden Cancer off, Research. Mike, thank you for sending it. We'll, we'll confirm everything with you tomorrow. And then someone's, Ben, this is the Star, the Star Trek real quick. Oh, yeah. Ben wanted to take a closer look at the Star Trek book. Uh, so they're saying the, that it, 
Uh, Rex, I'm sorry. You said it was a, a like a round of 4.0, you think? Or was that Nick? Sorry. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. He, he had to get something real quick. Sorry. Yeah. He said, and uh, unofficially official geek said that there's one for 375 in worst condition. So you get the whole run of what I have for $400. So, Nick, can you this, tell us a little bit more about this recreation of a cover? Because it, it, it is really cool, the story behind this. So, Bob Layton has been doing recreations of late, and he does recreations of some of his favorite covers and some of his favorite creators. So, um, he did this recreation in homage to George Perez, and Bob is donating most of the money to the Luft Garden Cancer Research in honor of George Pancreatic Perez. Pancreatic cancer, yeah. Pancreatic cancer, um, which is what my father passed away from almost four years ago to the day. Um, and 20% is still going to go to Rachel Pollack. So, and kyle -El, if you want this and you want to put 25% <laughs> down, which is about $450, um, we'll donate Rachel Pollack's right away. And I'll even front the money to uh, Bob Layton for, on this one, even if you only put 25% down, I'll give Bob Layton what he needs so that he can donate it to Luft Garden as well. Uh, so so <laughs> this is almost all going to go to charity. I think very little is not going to charity, which is probably the PayPal fees. So this is going to two charities. So Rachel Pollack, and Luft Garden Pancreatic Cancer Research in honor of George Perez. So look at how gorgeous that is. And this is a recreation by Bob Layton. Yeah. From Iron Man fame. He's a phenomenal artist that does recreation of covers. And of course, this is in honor of George Perez's New Teen Titans number one. All right. And then Amy's going to show a few more. I'm going to go put this away. Oh, Omar, I sent you the Sandman page. Oh, okay, I'll check it out. He sent it to me through email. He didn't actually send me a yeah. Sandman page. I'd like to clarify. All right, the other pieces of original art we have. 1A, we have Ultimate 6, page 5. Well, number 5, excuse me, from issue 5, page 13, from Hairstein and Mickey. Yeah, Trevor Hairstein and Danny Mickey. Here we go. This is 1A, I think. We have this one up for five, 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 550 so it's a buy it now. Wow. Yeah, this is Trevor Hairson drawing Spider-Man on the uh, Ultimate 6, right? This is issue number five, mm -hmm. is that what you said? Issue number five, page 13 from the, from the year 2003. And yeah, I think the basic Where? plot is Spider-Man gets captured by the Sinister Six, and yet, but he has to, but he has to help them so he can save Aunt May. So, oh, oh really? what's the number again? Oh, Death of Captain Marvel is hold one, on. one J. Uh, hold on. Okay. Congratulations! Is one J. That is correct. Good All memory, right. Amy. Right, and Rich Nolt. Yeah. Okay. Congrats. Rich, you get Napoleon Dynamite. One of my favorite movies. There yeah. you go. Dynamite. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> Congratulations, man. That comes from his own collection, the Jim Starling collection. That's awesome. Well, he All right, is. Next piece. All right, next piece of original art is Silver Surfer, number 128, page 5, from 1997, art by Ron Garney. Yeah, that's a Garney piece. Can you uh, show? Okay, uh, there yeah, we me, go. Let me, uh, where is it? There we go. Looking good. So this is right... 22A, if you'd like to purchase that. How, how much is that one, Amy? This one is 195, 195. Okay. 195. Um, 
Mike, uh, unfortunately, you're asking about the condition of death of Captain Marvel. Isn't that the one Rich just bought? Yeah, Rich yeah, just, Rich got just that one. bought it. So. And it was apparently. I just wanted to double check. Uh, I think it was in really good condition or great condition. Nick was holding it up earlier. Because he came out of the Jim Starling. Yeah. It was good condition. It, well, it was good condition. That was. And then the last piece of art we have is 3A, The Last Defenders, issue number three, page 14, from the year 2008. And this is penciled by Jim Yunez. Give you guys a nice look. And this is also 195. So this and the Silver Surfer by Ron Garney are 195. Correct. And the Tre Trevor Hairsign is two two twenty or two I'm sorry, two thirty. No, at five fifty, actually. The Which Trevor one? Hairsign. Okay. Way uh, yeah, good. we'll we'll do a quick recap once uh did okay. Amy did he do the new Teen Titans? Yes. Okay. And that yes, so this is the one cool. that's going to two charities. Which I'm happy to hold up again as well. All right. So new Teen Titans, Bob Layton. And did he lower the price or is 1800? It's still right? 1800. 1800 going to two charities. So that's 4A is an apple. All right. And then you did 1A, ultimate six, number five. Yeah, a little backwards, but that's okay. Page 13. And we have the one available for 550. I might put these down because we have a lot. We're, we're, we have a lot up here. Then we have 2A, uh, Silver Surfer number 128, page 6. And we have the one for 195. And 3A. Then we have 3A, The Last Defenders number 3, page 14. And we have that one for 195 as well. Thunderbase saying that new Teen Titans is great. Would look really good in a collection. I agree. That Bob Layton art is freaking awesome. I mean, he did the colors and everything like that. All right. So, uh, you know what? We should probably get to some sketch covers because we haven't done it yet. All right. Sketch covers? Ooh, we, we have a great lineup of sketch covers. So right. I'm, like, I'm just going to take some of these down just, just to make some room, but if anyone needs another look at something, please just let us know. Are, are the sketch here? covers going to be claim or are they auction, guys? A uh, little bit of both. Um, okay. So are we going to sketch covers? Yeah, like like some, I'm just, just right. clearing you know up right we, now. Why don't we start one of the auction ones? Sure. All right. Uh, you got to remind Hyperion. me which ones are auctions one. Do the Hyperion. Uh, the Hyperion... The Hyperion is number three R, and it's it's New Avengers number one with a Hyperion cover sketch by Ken, by Ken Hazer. Hazer. Ooh, right. I like the colors. It's and this is awesome. a this is an auction one. This is starting okay. at a dollar. Oh, right. Let's go. So I'll stick this right up here. Just want to wait a minute. Let me so carefully bad. place these back. Okay. Let's go. Two minutes. Benny starting right. at a dollar. Nope. Sorry. We're just trying to figure out how to make the clock smaller. Don't sure. worry about that right now. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Starting at a dollar. Okay. Hand uh hand drawn uh sketch cover by my favorite artist, uh Ken Hazer. All right, so we got Hindle. And it won, and then now we got five. All right, and then Adam, place it back right here. All right, is that five? Gotcha, buddy. All right, about a minute seventeen. But then we'll be on top of that, so it makes no sense. It's so stupid. Just to let you know, I've got a minute left on the clock trying to, to figure out. Uh, ah, okay. Slayer's in at six. Oh, good. Come on. You guys can, you can beat six. 
You're so you could cute. be six. You're such an instigator, I swear. What is your problem? It's just six dollars. Of course, Larry spent a lot of money, right? But sorry, well, Larry. Find such a nice way to add peer pressure. <laughs> I was like, 44 oh, seconds God. left. That's for fun. Or you could gift oh, it to Slayer somebody. Slayer may walk away with a deal of the century. Wait, right. it, wait, I see it is. Slayer's already bought stuff. They just add it to the shipping. Oh, that's true. It's already getting stuff shipped to Slayer. Yeah, up to six is ten dollars within the continental United States. So I'm trying to raise money. Oh, you Stop. geek! Thanks for joining yeah, us. Thank yeah, you so you much for the info. That was a lot. Um, yeah, that was, was super cool. Uh, you, you know, uh, oh, you geek has been with us uh, Friday night. I think uh, a few other mm -hmm. shows. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. you. That. That's what I wanted. All right, Ryan. six seconds left. Oh, Ryan Moore's a 10. $10. Two seconds. There we go. Oh, hey, Ryan, congratulations on such a great deal. All right. Wow, that is a steal. That's a $90 commission cover art for $10. Holy free holies. You get uh, what Oops. is better what? than dynamite? <laughs> Where is that from? I don't know. I just looked up dynamite. <laughs> there you go. Uh, all right. So did Slayer come in it before the the deadline, or there was a little bit of a lag? Uh, hold on a second. Let me let me double check. And I think it who who was it, Ryan? But Ryan is saying that Slayer got it. Ah. Uh, you know what, Ryan and, and Slayer? I'm going to let you all talk it out. Duke it out. Fight, it out. fight, fight. Don't duke it out. That's not <laughs> what I meant. Uh, yeah, just saw it our end. I saw. Uh, yeah, but because there's a little bit of a lag, yeah, yeah. sometimes it, it gets a little confusing. Sorry about that. Well, one of you, let's see if one of you will surrender for the other. Ryan is saying Slayer. Oh, Ryan, Ryan Slayer. That's really nice. Nice, oh. nice. All right, so Slayer, you got it for 11, my friend. What do we want to do now? Let's Thank you, look. Ryan. Are there any more auction, or is it all uh, buy it nows now? Uh, there is one more auction, the spawn number one starting at 35. Okay. Hey, Nick, can you all hear us? Yeah, we can hear you fine. Awesome. As long as both the, you and the time clock are on there, I'm. that's that's what this is about. So what this is, is this? An auction. Huh? This what is, is auction? this? This is an auction. Auction item. Spawn number one. It's this cute. is Ken Hazer. Check it out. You got to love it. Commission cover art. All original art. This is going to start the auction at $25? Uh, 35 35 You know what? Let's start at 25 since I said 25 It was supposed to be 35 but we're going to start at 25 Check okay. it out. Original art. Comes with a certificate of authenticity. Check it out. $25. Come on. Let's see $25. Let's get it going. $25 once. Regret not getting those metal ones. We still got two metal ones left. Uh, Nazma Strife. Uh, uh, yeah, right? It looks like a gargoyle and venom. Is it number uh, one, like the first ever? Yeah. What, what no, exactly? It's the commemorative edition that Image put out a few months ago. So okay. they also did a blank of it. All right, so, looks like Adam is in at 26. All right, Adam, 26. So 26 for Adam. This is a $100 commission cover art. So anything under $60 is, is below wholesale. Once you get to 60, you're at wholesale. This is hand-drawn by Ken Hazer. Actually, Rex is a huge Ken Hazer fan. Rex, tell him why you love Ken so much. Because his stuff is really cool. Well, no, but also he's colorblind. Or... Oh, the colorblind. Yeah. So I didn't know this until several months ago, but uh, and I confirmed it speaking to Ken himself. He is colorblind. Uh, so he doesn't see the colors. He actually sees the shades and stuff. So he depends on markers, uh, uh, pencils that have the color written on them. And I think that what's amazing is that that really brings out um, – brings out uh, his work because he has to work in shades as opposed to actual colors. Um, but you can see his use of negative space, of empty space. It's just phenomenal. Um, let's, uh, get, let's get another bid on this. Come on, $26, 20% goes to Rachel Pollock. Is that a time? Come on, guys, let's do it. This is a $100 commission cover art. Do you know how much you would pay for this at a show? 
Ah, uh, looks like somebody's getting a steal. Oh, Khalil, you're colorblind too? Oh, wow. Howard Chaikin's also colorblind. And so was Congratulations. Uh, so was uh, Tim Sell, right? Tim Sell was colorblind. I remember reading about that. Van Gogh. Okay. He was colorblind, apparently. Maybe. Van Gogh. That's how you say his name. All right. So, Adam, congratulations. I am glad to meet <laughs> you. And um, let's see. What kind of dynamite can you get? Wiley Coyote. That's Oh, it doesn't move. Nope. You get another Napoleon Dynamite. There you go. I love that dance. <laughs> Amy's dancing. <laughs> it's a great movie. Yes. I, oh, another my God. Another one I have to these days. Oh, you like The more movies you list that you haven't seen, the more you disappoint me. Like, <laughs> I get it. And that's just on the movie end. All right. Let's see. Let's show the really, really, <laughs> all the commission cover art's cool, but let's show the big one. Wait to show the big one. It's a big, it's a big finish. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to wait for the big one to be last. All right. Are we doing one art, Amy? Kyle yes. I think All you right. need to kill to get Tim Sale original art. Yeah. Heritage yeah. Art was this weekend, and I think a cover went for like $34,000. It's mind-boggling. One art. That is a lot. So what? what oh, is this? Bebop. All buy it now. All buy it now. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Is one R? Who drew that? Bob, Ken Hazer. Check it out. Same guy, that, the guy that's colorblind. He was explaining oh, what, okay. what is this? Uh, is this the new Titan issues or what is? This? Yes. Okay. It's the new Titan series. It's the one that came out only a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking. Earlier about. this year, I should say, only a few months ago. So this is Ken Hazer. Look how cute this he is. is. Isn't he eighty nine ninety nine? What are we uh, offering this at? Uh, we have it at uh, fifty. Fifty dollars. So what? fifty dollars original art. This is all original art outside of the logo. Next. Oh. Hmm. Garbage. Garbage. Look. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. Adam Bomb. Adam Bomb. Here we go again. Ken Hazer. How much is this? $35. $35. Oh, my God. $35. That is so affordable. These are $90. Let's see. What else do we have? Ooh. Detective Comics 1000. The Unstoppable Bar says, buy it, Melanie. Yeah, I see. <laughs> who's, the, who's the artist on this one? Ken Hazer. Wow, yeah, but he's cranking them out. <laughs> yep, he's doing. I mean, this is definitely um, Jesus Christ, the Christopher Nolan Batman. Who's the actor? Christian Bale. Yeah, Christian this Bale? is definitely Christian Bale homage. So oh, I how thought much it was, is this? This one is fifty. Fifty. Oh, you think it's the the new one, the Batman? Yeah, I thought it was the Matt Reeves Batman. The uh, I guess it could be either or, really. Robert Robert Pattinson? Pattinson? Oh, yeah. yeah, it is more Robert Pattinson. Okay. It, it looks a little bit like it. It's really cool. How much is it again? 50. All right, this one's 50. Uh, we have a claim for 1R. Awesome. R. Thank you, right, Lucas. Lucas. Oh, By the way, everybody, yeah, hit that thumbs up if nothing about. else. I was thinking about it. Okay, there you go. Another, you got to save it, baby. Dynamite! Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Yep, you, Jorge, we agree. It is more like Pattinson. So, so this one isn't Ken Hazer, but this is still just as cool. This is from Joe Del Beato and Mariano Nicieza. All right. So this is a full figure commission cover art. These are usually $150. What do we have it for tonight? Uh, this is the FF number one? Yeah. 65 65 for the year the Silver Surfer first appeared in Fantastic Four 48. Can so this is a $150 book. And look at this. You got the Kirby crackle. You got the Kirby colors. Mm -hmm. And what issue like of Fantastic 3D. Four is this? This is the Marvel Now Fantastic Four number one. Join the Revolution variant edition. What, I what, call him Bat Sparkles because Pattinson played a sparkly. Oh, God. Was that the, um, the uh, oh, what's his name? James Robinson run? No, no, let's open it up. I'll find out. I'm pretty sure which one it was. 
We can get a certificate made if anyone's curious. Yeah. I know it doesn't have one right now, but we can get one made. We will get one made. Yes. Um, this is the Matt Fraction run. Matt Fraction's run. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love this face. Look at this. <laughs> thank you, Adam. Thank that you. was the Fraction Alred run. Super campy cover. Well, the, one of the reasons why they did it is because of the Mike Allred interior. You know, they really wanted to keep with the campiness that Allred did to go with it. <laughs> Matt Decimal is greater than Matt Fraction. That's funny. All right, next. Another Joe Del Viado Mariani CAs that we have Captain America. With the Falcon. That's a dynamic cover. It is. Again, $149.99. What do we have this at? $50. $50. This is a steal at $50. Check it out. It's Legacy $695. And now for the big one. You guys ready? All right. Is, yep. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Ben Hazer, we have Amazing Spider-Man. Four-piece cover set. Oh, this oh, one. Oh, ho, ho. wow. Wow. So tell this, us about this. They, no, they're like, no, it, it says it all. <laughs> Just look at it. Just look Obviously, at it. It's Ken Hazer after John Romita. Yeah. And it's number 800, but the image itself is homage to number 100. Wow. If kind of we do we we present it like this because it's, it's easier because me and Nick right. can't quite put it together just right well it's because we nick, try to hold it's it up because nick has unsteady hands yeah the, oh wow that would look my gorgeous parents are both tailors and have steady hands and i have the most unsteady hands in the world but john romita senior as amy just said in homage to Amazing Spider-Man 100, you've got Spider-Man, you've got uh, Mary Jane, Aunt May, Gwen, Gwen Captain Stacy, Lizard, Kingpin, Rhino, J. Jonah Jameson, Vulture, Doctor Doom, uh, Jonah's uh, son who becomes the Man Wolf, uh, uh, Kingpin, Norman Osborn, Scorpion, Craven the Hunter. Uh, was it uh, Fozzie? Fo oh, God. Who was the guy who became the big man? Uh, the, oh, God, I can't remember his name now. Foswell, though. You've got the Prowler. You've got Robbie Robertson and the Sun. You've got the Chameleon. You've got Harry Osborn. You've got the Ringmaster. You've got so many characters here. So MSRP, I want the left cheek. The MSRP on this is 800. What do we have it for? Uh, 500. So $500. So that like forces you to buy all covers because you just had Spider-Man's arm. Right, exactly. And again, we'll do the 25% down and 75% uh, within 30 days or so. Frederick Foswell, thank you, Phil Owens. I want so, four different people to buy this and get together once a year to put their covers together. That would be awesome. That's a heck of a story. Tyler. You and four, three of her buddies. Mm. It'll be a good reason to get together uh, once a year. Yeah. You celebrate it by bringing your Spider-Man covers together. That is beautiful. With your powers combined. Come or on. With great Peter power Peter comes Peter great Peter responsibility. Peter. Yep, that's right. Alpha is not on there, Jimmy. <laughs> the Invisible Woman is, though. Uh, Nick, was there another Vampirella for auction? I can't remember. Do we have any more Vampirella left? There was a picture of a Vampirella cover. Just asking for a friend. <laughs> uh, we have a Virgin cover. Okay. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's for auction though. Oh, uh, let's let's get to it in a minute. So here you go. This is Amazing Spider-Man 800 for connecting covers in homage to Amazing Spider-Man 100. Unfortunately, I have the financial stability of Peter Parker. Well, keep in mind Peter Parker was a multimillionaire at one point. So you know, would so yeah, would, well, would Peter Parker? He was. he was at one point, and then everything at was taken point. from him, just like comics. 
All right, let's see what's next. You want to pull that Vampirella? So we can do our little Dynamite Virgin cover set. Okay. Or do we want to talk about... A reader's the, pack? A reader's pack, yeah. So is this this week's reader's pack? No, just... no, I put this together a couple weeks ago. All right. So for $10, I need to start on OnlyFans. <laughs> well, you know, there's a lot of authors on OnlyFans, Kal-El. So, if you're a writer or an artist, you can start one and show off your writing or art. Did the Vampirella slab get sold? I believe I it did. Uh, yeah. Uh, it did. Hold on. Yeah, Vengeance of Vampirella got sold. It was All right. for this year. So, what is this? So, this is a package. We will sell as many as you guys want to buy. This is basically a Dynamite starter package. One of the things we'd love you guys to do is start reading Dynamite. It is a $40 package. How much are we selling it for? Minimum $40 value. 20. We are going to all so you're going to get it at half price. You're going to get 10 random bucks that will come to an MSRP of at least $40. You're getting it at half price, and we just want to get some more readers. Oh, maybe I should put these right side up. I'm enough. That's just how that's just how it's packaged, so it's a little easier. Gotcha. Oh, you mean I didn't do it this time? Awesome. So you don't know what you're going to get, but you get to read more dynamite. So this would be awesome. Uh, the PayPal email, Lucas, is paypal at dynamite.com. Mike, it's not all number ones, but keep in mind the one bonus <laughs> we're doing. Everybody who pays on time today, as they claim, you're also going to get an incentive cover. But you will get some number ones, Mike. You will get some number ones. Uh so, yeah, we can throw the PayPal in there again. It's right on the screen, paypal at dynamite.com. There's two email addresses right there, rex.wang uh, at dynamite.com. Amy, oh, my goodness, how do you pronounce your last name, Amy? Raniello. Raniello at dynamite.com in case you have questions. So anybody who would like to buy this, that would be awesome. You know, there's two things we can ask of everybody outside, of, and thank you for your support is one uh if you are able to pick up one of these it'll be great this way you can start reading dynamite and two after the show not now but after the show please sign up for our youtube channel we would love that um so that'll be great <laughs> i guess we know how you get all your collected editions <laughs> i just wanted to thank Uncle omar for your code for your Cheap graphic novels. I received my order. Oh, nice. Oh, good, man. Transformers My oh, Little Pony. I love that special. Our daughters, our daughters love that stuff. So wow. next, auction, next auction, Jeff, we will have Jim Lee. We will have Jim Lee. How much Come is on, the Detective I'm... Comics? How much was the Detective again? Fifty. Fifty dollars. Come on. Fifty dollars. <laughs> you can afford that, Mr. N991. All right. So this is Rose Besh. All right, so Rose Besh, this she is a number. She a queen of the jungle, number four, Virgin Edition. This is a fifty dollar book. Wow. For twenty. So fifty dollar book for twenty dollars. This is Hell Sonia, number four, Jay Lee. Love Jay Lee. Jay Lee, Virgin Hell Sonia, number four. Again, the fifty dollar book for twenty dollars. Barbarella, number seven. This is Derek Chu. Also, yeah, yeah. I think all the versions are twenty today. Yeah, they're all fifty dollar books that we're doing for twenty. And here's the Vampirella. I draw Gillian March. There we go. Yeah, that one. That's the Gillian March one, right? Gillian yeah. March. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Vampirella year one number two, more specifically. Fifty dollar book for twenty dollars. And last but not least, Evil Ernie Arthur Sadam, number three. Huh. And how much is that one? 20. They are all 20. They're all $50 books for $20. So they're $20. Well, somebody's feeling better. <laughs> Jay Lee Spider-Man. Wow, that was a long time ago. My God, that was ages ago. I'm not even sure Amy was born when that came out. Uh that was what 1992, 1993, maybe. 
Uh, we will, Jeff, next time we will have uh, some Jim Lee X-Men CGCs. Uh, Jacob, that uh, would be $50 if you're re referring to the Ken Hazer uh, cover sketch detective. And Adam just sent his payment over. You are in NL. Is that, uh, what is NL, baby? North London? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where that is. Is that North London, Je Jeff? Oh, yes, bar. That's what it is. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it, Netherlands. 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 Oh, thank uh, you. Wow, Jason Frank did pass away. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's crazy. Wow. We were talking about that at the beginning of the auction. Like, wow, I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. <coughs> very, 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 very <laughs> bar said North Carolina. Uh, <laughs> an umbrella crossover with Alf. That would be neat. All right. Remember, guys. Twenty dollars. Tell you what, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do this since we're still donating the money to charity. Ten dynamite books, twelve dollars and fifty cents, so that two dollars and fifty cents can go to Rachel Pollock. We'll do that. One D, ten dynamite, three ninety nine books or more for that. What else we got? How much now? Uh, twelve fifty. There's a couple sections we haven't touched on yet. We have more Jim Starlin. Let's pick another Jim Starlin book. Um, the the Spider Man. I'm sorry, I missed the, some good stuff. The four Spider Man issues, the ones that make that collage. Uh, they can tell you a little bit about that. It's eight hundred dollar MSRP, five hundred dollars today. Again, twenty percent will go to Rachel Pollock. If you want to put twenty five percent down, so that we can send the entire twenty percent to Rachel and pay the rest within thirty days or so, uh, please feel free. Uh, this is a great buy. This is fantastic. And you have so many characters, totally an homage to John Romita. Ken really killed it here. I mean, you got to love the way he drew Mary Jane, Gwen Stacy, uh, the Prowler, uh, Green Goblin, the Beetle, Chameleon, uh, Ringmaster, Vulture, Dr. Doom, J. Jonah Jameson, Robbie Robinson, uh, Rhino, just so much going on there. Omar, what's it like being vintage? Ha! Omar, you're being called vintage. <laughs> Some days it depends. It's rough. Some days it's all right. Not bad. All right. Uh, C2 Keyboard Samurai, you are correct. 1D is now $12.50 for the tennis shoes, not 20 anymore. Yeah. Not the Beatles, the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got to be a little bit funny. No, I'm kidding. All right. Hulk and the Thing. Oh, this dude, this story and artwork. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's your thing, Nick. Uh, go, no, ahead. go ahead. You, you. I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the way uh, Bernie, uh, Bernie Wrightson drew the Hulk and the Thing in this graphic novel. All right. Got, was, I got you see awesome. through a uh, keyboard. It is freaking awesome if you've never read it. It's so good. And the art in this, I don't, uh, if you can tell, because it's a graphic novel, holding it next to a, a comic book, the art is oversized because it's a graphic novel, like one of the Marvel graphic novel books they put out. It was just recently collected in uh, Epic Collection. Uh, was it It Epic? was. Or, yeah, but this is the original. And real quick, uh, Jacob, it is 4R. 4R. The boys signed copies have not been picked up. All three volumes are signed. By both Derek Robertson and Garth Ennis. And, and if you do all three, we're going to do $500. Oh, oh, oh. We had some purchases. Let me... Oh, you're behind, you're behind. I know, right? How much is that? Oh, uh, while well, Nick is showing this one, sorry. How much is this? 200? 200. Okay, there we go. That was Hey Arnold. We can't read. He's talking about dynamite. Hey Arnold was a good show. Okay. There we go. Like I said to you guys, I'm a huge fan of Bernie Wrightson and Jim Starlin as a team. I want to be really careful with this because these are in really great condition. The only one that was damaged was the Infinity Gauntlet. So check it out. 
Um, and Jeff, yeah, go to uh, the description. There's a link to Rachel Paul's GoFundMe page, yep. which uh, 20% of proceeds are going to um, her fund uh, to help with the cost of uh, cancer treatment. She's a comic creator. And um, for those of you who have purchased something, there is the info you need to PayPal, or if you are not able to PayPal, which is preferable, uh, email either Rex or Amy. Check it out. Signed by Jim, personal collection, certificate from his art agent, the artist choice. This is gorgeous. So this is only $200, Amy? Yes. And you can see how good a condition it is by looking at the back. I like that back. Yeah. But the fact that the black back is in good condition. Um, again, this is just a great book. It's one of my favorites. Uh, no, the thing is wearing pants. It's just uh, you can could, you could see right there he's wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> Um, man was asking about, I guess, about manga. I don't think they have any manga to sell. We don't have any manga. Sorry. Uh, is there a package that collects Christopher Priest's Vampirella run? We can make, we can get you the first two collections, Adam. Um, we'll have to look up what they are. We'll give you a discount. And again, 20% will then go to Rachel Pollock. So, uh, Jacob, our pleasure, buddy. So two hundred dollars original graphic novel. Which which one was this in the series? The big change. Let's see. Oh, this was definitely later. Wow. This is one of the later ones. One of the last ones. Came out in nineteen eighty seven. It is a first print. <laughs> Stanley cameo for Mall Rats. Oh my God. That one's twenty nine. 29? Okay. Yep. So the one that kicked it off is, of course, the one you sold earlier, The Death of Captain Marvel, but that one is 29. Here we go. This is fun. Love hanging out with the fans. What else we got? We have more Jimstown. We have more. We have a few more sign books. We, we have uh, the holiday sets. If we want Let's to. Let's do the holiday sets. The, ho the holiday mystery sets. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. All right. Oh, we have really quick, five. Manny Sanchez. Yeah, the Hulk and the Thing book uh, were just recently collected in epic format, uh, if you're wondering about that. And actually, let me double check. Go ahead, Nick. Sorry. Let me just double check. Yeah, go ahead. I think it's, it, might, it might just be a masterwork so far. Do I have any more Superman? I'll do this if you want to look for more Superman. All right, so yeah, be very careful. Amy put these together. They're really, really cool. So these are holiday packs. We have five of them. If you claim one of these, we'll turn them around and show you what you claim. There's over $100, I think over $150 worth of books here. Kal-El. <laughs> Poor kal -El. Um, so let's get somebody claiming the holiday packs because these are awesome. So I've got to tell holiday you. Packs, are they holiday themed comics? Or are you saying like it's a mystery pack to for the holidays or uh, mystery I'm, pack for the holidays? Mystery okay. pack for the holidays, yeah, like a Christmas tree. Unstoppable bar. How much did you overpay by? We'll refund you the difference. We will refund you the difference. That girl, I swear. Dang, where did I see that book recently? Was it Fantastic Four? Keep going, Melanie. Sorry. Mm. <sighs> uh, I already stopped. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So let's get somebody to buy in. Come on. Paid for those 10 issues. Very excited to try. Thank you, CP. Oh, yeah. I, I am a failure. I cannot find the graphics. So. Each package has a metal book, a limited edition cover, and the sign book. Every package is valued at $150 or higher, and they are $50 each. 
Uh, unstoppable beer. Yeah, we'll put it in towards yeah. the shipping then. Not a problem. That'll uh, that'll save you a step. So, um, and you didn't unstoppable bar buy like a CGC package with other stuff. Yeah, she did. Yeah. yeah. So then you're just short five dollars and fifty cents if you want to send it, and that'll. Well, no, that. no, I believe unstoppable bar lives in Israel. Yeah. We will get back to you on that. <laughs> oh, sorry, get- it's in. It's in the thing omnibus. That's where it's collected, which hasn't come out yet. I think it's been pushed back until January. That, oh, okay. That's where it is. Thank you. And this right. is a first print. So, come on, guys. Let's see someone pick up one of these. Say how much they were? $50. $150 worth of or more worth of cool collectible comics for only $50. Somebody's got to pick up one up. Come on. So, <laughs> wait a minute! You easy. didn't put me on mute. They heard me say I'm a failure. I can't find the graphic novel. I thought you muted me. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, forget it. that. I didn't mean that. I knew where it was. Oh, uh, come on, guys! It's a holiday package. Come on. How, how much is shipping on those? On the on the fifty dollar package. Mm-hmm. Well, Ten if continental and continental U.S. Yes. Yeah, continental U.S. is ten, but also you could get up to three more books as part of it. Uh, we are on whatnot. We just have been so slammed lately. We haven't done the show in a little bit. Um, we will be coming back in the near future, but right now we're doing this show. Uh, let's see. <laughs> if you didn't spend, Sergeant Savage, let me ask you a question. What do you have for lunch? Because if you spent your lunch money. Well, I believe Sergeant Savage spent his lunch money with us. Oh, okay. What? I was gonna say that's a hefty lunch. That's like that's like a really, really expensive <laughs> restaurant. Mike is saying I, if he knew what was in there, he might consider it in those in those packages. All right, I'll pick one. Let's see. Wait, you're wait, you're showing it? I'm gonna show one because you're not supposed to know. <laughs> well, n- Nobody has bid yet or picked one up yet. That's the whole thing. We're supposed to it's supposed to be a surprise. Kyle L's not even supposed to claim week. it and then we show it. I know what it's supposed to be. <sighs> uh Tyler needs to know shipping costs. We'll bill you shipping tomorrow, Tyler. Tyler, um, it would be ten dollars shipping uh within the continental United States. So unless you're international or you purchase more items, it'll be ten dollars. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this I'm only gonna show one. Two H M letter B set B set B. You have the Evil Ernie FOC cover in homage to X Men one thirty six or one thirty eight with Cyclops leaving the X Men. You have Rocket Raccoon number one. This is signed by Scotty Young in blue. We had four hundred and forty of these. This is number fourteen. And you get the Vampirella Metal oh, Book. Amy, that's... use your fingers on this. You got the <laughs> Vampirella Metal Book. That one's cool. Which is a hundred dollar book in homage to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So mm-hmm. there you go. That's one of the packages. So over one hundred and fifty dollars for fifty dollars. So let's see. How much would the shipping be for the I'm, start? I'm trip? writing them down okay. right now. Okay. Thank you, Rex. I do. Yeah. Rex is on it. Man, so, no, it's all good. He meant he man. He meant he man. Yeah, that is a great uh, deal there. Oh, Aww, I'm ready. Hey, Thunder Buddy, if you want, I'll even on the fifty dollars. That's a lot of money. So I'm fine with your putting 25. If you want to put $12.50 down, this way we can give Rachel the $10 right away and pay the rest within 30 days, we'll work with you, Thunder Buddy. We want to work with everybody. Uh, we depend on where you're located. We would get you exact shipping based on weight plus $4 insurance. Yeah, Ben, where are you located? I mean, it'll be under 30 bucks, I think. Yeah, I, Nick, Never you mind. don't know where he's at. So oh, don't, okay. please don't say that. In the U.S. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure, uh, Ben, because certain locations are, are a little bit more difficult if they're harder to get to. It's weird how shipping rates work, but usually uh, 
we can get pretty close. And if you're within the continental United States, we can take a fairly good guess. All right, Maddie, where are you at? Come on. All right. People aren't used to our... I, I already bought Red Sonia for Maddie. <laughs> Remember? That He's was in Virginia. Oh, oh, you're in Virginia. Okay. Uh, ben, I, I would still get you an exact weight on shipping uh, because uh, it, it exceeds, you know, uh, the entire collection. And the best way to, to pack it is to make sure it re uh, reaches you in a secure fashion. Oh, so. sneaking new said pick one. All right. I was going to show another one, but. It's Marvel uh, He's a Marvel fan. Or they. Sorry. They, they might be. If they are a Marvel fan, I would go with or she. this one or that one. Um, Let me see. Let's. Uh, yeah. Oh, this one. Okay. Okay. Which one is it? Uh, set C three HM. All right. Yeah, that's fun, sneaky. Thank you. You pull it out. Go ahead. Okay. You picked it. Whoa! <laughs> you woke me. You didn't even break me. <laughs> that's what it's called. You woke me. So bar. this set. <laughs> Sneaky Guru includes Invincible Iron Man number one, signed by David Marquez. Oh, nice. I love his artwork. Oh, and real quick, this is number 11 of only 39. We only got 39 signed for Kill to Suspense 39. This is number 11. We have Hellsonian number three. This is the Ultra Violet Lucio Perio cover. Check it out. The FOC Limited Edition. And then we have a Vampirella metal cover. I'm trying to remember which one it is. Let me is see if I know. Do you know which? Was well, the Je Jung Yoon Yoon version is, cover? Is this the Vengeance of Amparella? It might. It might be. I like. Maybe you to check it out. Just to, yeah, just to check. Metal covers are so awesome. For some dumb reason, I didn't write that part down. Oh, Kyle Al finishes. Kyle it's oh, it's Vampirella Strikes number six. It's Vampirella Strikes. Okay, Vampirella Strikes number six. So, congrats, Nikki. If we got a DC fan, we got a good DC book. And tell you what, I'm going to do, Sneaky. If you buy the other two Marvel-led ones, we've got two more, besides the Rocket Raccoon, we've got two more with the lead being Marvel. If you want to buy either of the other two leads with Marvel, uh, we will do those for you for 40 bucks since you bought one. Matter of fact, if anybody buys two, the second one will be 40 If anybody buys two. So we got a Vampirella right here, Nazma Strife. Nazma Strife? That's right, right? Nazmi Strife. That uh, that Hell Sonya was awesome. I've never seen that cover. That's really cool. The one that he it just rock. got. It does rock. All right, what else we got, guys? Come on. Anybody else coming in? Was Omar groaning? That was me. Yep. That's so funny. I groaned. I groaned. I groaned. Thank you, Melvin. Right. Uh, Superman. Oh, here's something that's really cool. And, well, I mean, it's all really cool. But considering Five that it's Superman, just the 30th anniversary, Superman New 52 hardcover. Check it out. Oh, Dan Jurgens. That's a. Uh... Oh, that's awesome. That is a sketch by Dan Jurgens. How much is this, Amy? Best offer starting at 50. Oh, best offer starting at 50. All right, Nazma <laughs> Naz Naz Strife, we will show them all. Let's start with this. <laughs> Come on. Best offer starting at 50. Okay. Hard cover. Superman New 52. Woo! Kal -El's in at 50. Let's get that clock started. Okay. We're gonna stop this. We're gonna stop this at $150. If it gets into $150, we're stopping it. So $150 or uh when we run out of time. But I mean, come on. Superman uh Pedima Kal El already has 50. Let's do an increments Slayers of, at 60. Slayers at 60. Slayers at 60. Let's do this increments. Of, 70? Wow. Of 70. This is a Dan Jurgens sketch on the inside. It, listen, it doesn't get more defining than Dan Jurgens. He is one of the top five greatest Superman creators of all time. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Look at Kal El not spend too much money. <laughs> Kal El didn't even think about it. He's like, I don't at 75. Slayer is now at 80. Nice. Oh, wait. 
Okay. Yeah. Slayers at 80. I misread Rich's. <laughs> doing 400. <laughs> All I, right. Nice. $80. I got 85. 85. Going there for 85. Are. There you are. $90. $90. 90. Nice. What about 95 or 100? Like, Make sure you, you, you get it. Bit hundred. You, you don't get too much of a hard sell from us, but come on, getting a Dan Jurgen sketch in silver, in silver. Oh my God! Ah, looks like Kal El saying that Slayer can have it. Thirty-one seconds. If anybody's going to beat Slayer, remember best offer at the end or one hundred and fifty dollars. But this is original art. This is beautiful. Dan Jurgens, one of the defining Superman writers and artists. You know, when it comes to writer and artist, I mean, you got John Byrne and Dan Jurgens who did both. Do 95. Do 95. Where are you worth a couple of hundred. What's wrong with you? 95. Eddie Maz at 95. <laughs> oh, came in at the last second. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Uh, Congratulations. Slayer is the new Spider-Man villain. All right. So you get Sideshow Bob as your gift. <laughs> Colin, if you need to do a payment plan for one of the holiday packs, yes, we'll do the payment plan. Uh, if what you got is $11 today, we will do that for you. Bam. Congratulations. The info. Nope. Nope. There we go. So, oh, Colin man. Galvin, let us know. Player. That was close. All right. Here we go. And remember, 20% is going to Rachel Pollock, if you just joined us, to Rachel Pollock's GoMe Fund um, to help with covering cancer treatment costs, this uh, comic creator, because comic creators don't have insurance. That's why they started the whole hero initiative. So, Or, or employee-provided insurance, I should say. There we go. Employer-provided. Mm -hmm. What do you got, Nick? What is this we're looking at? All right, so this is 1M. This is another um, mystery pack, H holiday package. So you're getting Thor, the Frank the rare Frankenstein cover signed by Donnie Cates. Oh. This package has Vampirella Year One and homage to Flashdance with blood dropping on her. And this one has Barbarella. Right. Uh, Colin, which one though, buddy? Well, I, I said that there was one DC one. I think there's only one DC one. All right. Uh, which one is that? The one with the Teen Titans with the first appearance of uh, Crush, yeah. Lobo's daughter. Well, now I need the code. Yep, I'll give it to you in a second. All right, All right 4HM, buddy. You get Invincible Red Sonya, black and white, in homage to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That cover's so mm -hmm. killer. Isn't it? it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get in Teen Titans number 20, number 5 of 130. Only 130 in the world, and you're getting single digits. Signed by Bernard Chang. And check out this Vampirella oh. metal book. So, all right. Colin, send in that $11 down payment. This way we can give Rachel her... I thought you said it was Dean. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We can get Rachel her, uh, her $10 right away on that. And uh, you can pay the rest plus shipping within 30 days. Thanks for working with people, Nick. Of course. That's what we're here for. We're here for the fans. Uh, Nazma Strife is claiming what now? What are you claiming, Nazma Strife? Let us know what you're claiming. I uh, guess I should. It could be the 1HM, which is A, 1HM. Um, and I'll just show the 5HM while I'm at it. And remember, uh, if you claimed one already, you can get the second one for 40 Exactly. Second one's 40 bucks. So we've got World War Hulk. Hey, Sergeant Savage, we try. That's all we can do is try. World War Hulk signed by Greg Pak in Silver Signature Series. This is a wraparound cover, by the way. This is number 11. Hell, Sonya, black and white cover for issue five. And Red Sonya Metal Book. $50 oh. for all five bucks. So... Uh, Again. My bad. I was excited. The one you showed didn't realize it was already claimed. Oh, sorry, buddy. Okay, no worries. All right, what else do we have left? We're going to wrap this up soon. 
Uh, yeah, a few more sign books, some more Jim Starlin. Why, why don't we finish the hardcovers? Yeah, let's get that. Yep, let's get that out of the way. We have two more. Let me left. bring them over. So, uh, one age she is claiming okay. the Marvel uh, the, Which one is the one with Rocket Raccoon now? Uh, the first, it's the first one that you opened. Uh, B, the yeah, Vampirella one. All right, so that is sneaky new. All right, sneaky, you're going to get this one at 40. Oh, did he buy one before? Yes, he did. Yep. Awesome. So forty dollars, buddy. Great right, deal. Like so you talk about this. All right. So we have only one of these: Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Omnibus, Classic Years. All right. And this is signed by Cassandra Peterson. Oh. Ha! <laughs> Kalel, no Red Sonia Metal will not be in Dark Knight's Metal. <laughs> That's cute, though. Uh, is this Nick? Is this a buy it now or is it an auction? This is a buy it now. Okay, I'll let you explain then. Um, how much is this? Two hundred and sixty-six. Tell you what, this was supposed to be two hundred and sixty-six, but it's the holidays, and we want to get the. Uh, <laughs> we got differences of opinion. Somebody can go five, uh, five more hours, and and Kalel said, "No, I can't do it." So we're going to do this for 200 bucks. The MSRP is 266. This is signed by Cassandra. This is a first print. This was 30 years in the making. The Elvira Omnibus, the Claypool years. We we did issues 1 through 26.6. You've got stories by Paul Dini, Kurt Music, so many other people. So and Slayer claims it. You got it Slayer. So two hundred dollars. So I lowered the price. Slayer, that's one H. One H. Man, Slayer is for real slaying these books. Oh my gosh. Um, you also have a uh, not a, not a lot of people realize that. I make sure to cover it on my overview. But you have a uh, Dave Cockrum doing some of the art in there too, which is awesome. Yeah. All right, last hardcover. This is a classic. Six H. Okay, Batman Black and White. Is this a this, is this an auction, Nick? I'm sorry, or a claim? Uh, this one is a buy now. Buy now, how much? Okay, I'll leave that up there. Twenty dollars. So the original MSRP on this was twenty nine, twenty four ninety nine, and I always believe in being one hundred percent transparent. So I believe this is the first print. This is volume three. And I will show everybody, I did buy this at $11.99, but it's a $25 book that we're doing for $20. And again, don't forget, we are bringing 20% of the money goes to Rachel Pollock. So one person can have this. This is, and what year is it from? Old dish. That looks like the late 90s one. Is that the, the original black and white series? This is book three. Mm -hmm. well, I would say early aughts then, if it's book three. It is. You, it is. It's like 2004, give or take. Yeah. We do not have the Daniel Way complete collection. I'm sorry, Mike. Mike Kennard, you've been in other claim shows with us. How you doing? Uh, I might have to spend some money. Please do, Peak Fiction. Come on. <laughs> We're almost done here. We're calling it a day. Amy do and Rex I, have lives. I may not, but they do. Do I like Batman Black and White? I absolutely do. Uh, All right, Mr. Mr. M991. If, if you've not read it, to me... Oh, no Spider-Man. I'm sorry. No Spider-Man on the bus. It's not today. Sorry. All right. So, um, um, so yeah, it's almost... Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got another Dynamite gift left. Congratulations. Look, they're clapping for you. Uh, I don't know. I've oh always God. said those is Batman this man dynamite. I don't know. I think it's BTS. All those uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Batman black and white stories to me are like palate cleansers. They're really great to read if you're in between a long series because they're all standalone stories. They can be taken canon, non canon, however you want to. I love them. Can we repeat the name of um, the I record that raccoon? Was, it's sold. That was it's the one that's sold. Set B. Set B was two number two two H H M. I bought a Batman 50 J. Lee version. Set, set B was claimed by uh, Sneaky New. Yeah. Great to have you back, uh, Mike. Thank you. And everybody, like set I said, B. 
after the show, once we're done, if you could go to the Dynamite YouTube page and just sub up, that'll be great. But while you're here, if you have not yet, hit that thumbs up. Thank you, Slayer. The money. All right, what else we got? All right, let's, let's do the Batman let's, collection. Um, Actually, let's. which Batman collection is that? Starlin. Okay. Death in the Family. QJ. Check it out. Batman Death in the Family from Jim Starlin's private collection. <laughs> this is the deluxe edition, correct? Yep. So this also contains A Lonely Place in Di of Dying, right? A Lonely Place of Dying? I believe so. Yeah, it's got the George Perez. and Because Jim Starlin and Marf Wolfman, they were writing those stories too. It's the introduction of Tim Drake, but it's also yep. the death of uh, Jason Todd. If you've not that? read, oh my gosh, this is one of I mean, this is why like Jim Starlin is known as like the guy to hire to kill characters. Captain Marvel, <laughs> this story, the death of the new gods. Oh my gosh, Thanos, if Thanos. 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 Like, wiping out the uh, half of the freaking Marvel universe. But uh yeah. Wait, uh is this I'm sorry, is this a claim? Is this a auction? How, do you claim. Guys How much is it? $250? Two fifty? Two hundred and fifty dollars. But this is definitely a premium worth it. This is from Jim Starlin's private collection. So, again, another Jim Starlin private collection book. And this is from 2021, so very recent. Um, but, man, this is so beautiful. Just so, so beautiful. It's kind of Jim ironic. Starlin, Jim Apparel, Mike DiCallo, Mark Wolfman, George Perez. Do we have a Bruce Wayne on here? It will come with a Koa, Mike. It will come with a Koa. So and uh, Nazi's asking how much was that one again? $250. $250. And again, as we've said multiple times, keep in mind 25, 20%, sorry, 20% is going to go to. Uh, Rachel Pollock. And, you know, we get these from Jim Starlin. So Jim Starlin also uh, makes more money on this as well. So we're we're spreading it pretty well with the creators here tonight. So this is a great book. What else we got, Amy? Of uh, Jim Starlin, of Cyborg. Yeah, let's book. do Jim Starlin. Let's keep going Jim Starlin. For once, I'll say let's, let's stick with that. My favorite character, one of my two favorite Marvel characters, Daredevil. Daredevil and Black Widow, Joe Chiodo Art, 5J. How much is this by it now? 150. All right. This is supposed to be 150. We're going to do it for 100. We're just going to do it at 100. Let's, let's move past some of these. Certificate of Authenticity. Check it out. Signed by Jim Starlin right there. Here we go. So, And again, it's a graphic novel, so it's oversized artwork. It's beautiful. Yep. OGN. It is an OGN, and it is stunning. It is absolutely stunning art. What else we got, Amy? Oh, you cannot talk about Jim Starlin without talking about Dreadstar. 6J. Metamorphous Odyssey series. Painted cover by Starlin. How much is this, Rex? 150. All right, so this is 150. Same thing. We're going to do it for 100. We're going to move past some of these real quick. Good. This is Drin Starlin's signature character, one of his favorite characters, and it is a great story. All right? That, is that a first printing? I believe it is. $4.95. I'm going to double check. Let's see. Bar Widow stuff. Jeff Sutter. I don't... Are you bringing that to somebody's attention? I'm sorry. Was Dexstar inspired by this? I don't know. What do you think, Omar? There's a cat on the <laughs> cover. <laughs> I don't know, but I really like this stuff. This is uh, the stuff. <laughs> about, he just recently did an omnibus and a hardcover himself. Sorry, guys. No Wonder Woman today. We'll have, if we do if we do this again, we'll have to, we'll have to make sure. That we put one yeah, I'll, what I'll do is I'll send Nick an email about like what some of the people are writing in case. 
And maybe next time before we do the claim show, like three weeks before, you can do a community post or something. That's, yeah, that's a good idea. Absolutely. To see what kind of things people are interested in. Uh, Colin just sent the payment and he's like, he's asking what the official website is. Uh, dynamite.com. I love Black Widow, but I already got Harley. No worries. No worries. He did. She got the, he claimed Harley before mm -hmm. he was even mm -hmm. done. <laughs> well, we haven't decided on the next auction, uh, but it, it, it is something special because uh, we did it last year and we're doing it this year. And Nick and I will talk about doing it again. If y'all are having fun and we're having fun doing it and we can set up a time to do this again. Um, All I think right. it's a great way to show off some great stuff. All right, guys. This is some big guns coming up right now. Oh, wow. Jem wow. Starlin bringing back Warlock because of the success of Strange Tales. He was able to relaunch Warlock with issue seven or eight. Uh, when Marvel had canceled it after the Tom Sutton Go King series was canceled. This is 178. This is the defining warlock. I mean, again, we talk about this. Jim Starlin, this is a buy it now. Check out the condition. Look at how great. Yeah, that little ding over here on the top left. But outside of that is really great condition. Signed by Jim right there. This is $400. Again, we'll do a payment plan. Certificate from Spencer Beck. Oh, was it issue nine? Thank you, Phil. I could not remember. Uh, Nick, if you want to show some person, did you grab any Mirka Red Sonya pages? Bunk Basta, I actually have a Mirka Vampirella page. I do not have any Red Sonya pages, unfortunately. Uh, ignore every email you, you got from me. All right, unstoppable. Maybe I won't ignore them, <laughs> but I get it. Uh, would I say it's near mint? I would say it's probably a 8.5. I don't want to oversell it. It might be a 9.0, but it's at least an 8.5. Tell you what I'm going to do, because we're getting at the end of this. Just to make it easier, I'm going to make this $350. And 25% is still going to go, obviously, to Rachel Pollock's GoFundMe. So we're going to put this right here. That's Jim Starlin. All right. So now I'm trying to remember if, was it 178 or 179 that was the first Magus, uh, Warlock's evil side? But 178 is the first Pip the Troll. I think the yep. first Gamora. Somebody was just uh, mentioning Pip the Troll about an hour ago on the mm -hmm. show. There we go. Um, is Omar creating dummy accounts to vote so he doesn't get in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. So this oh, one is also me. this one's also in beautiful condition, and it's got that little ding up there. But I think this is a nine point zero to a nine point two. This is a five hundred dollar book, but what we'll do on this one is we'll bring it to four hundred dollars. All right, you get the certificate of authenticity. Signed by Spencer Beck, Jim Starlin's art agent. This is a great key. Uh, the PayPal is paypal at dynamite.com, Mr. M991. <laughs> Omar is Slayer. Be, be sure to uh, include with your PayPal payment in those note sections your full name, ship to address, and, of course, an email address uh, in the oh, event miss, we need to contact this you. One? My bad. That's okay. And for some people, this is one of the best ones thanos quest this one sorry 7j thanos quest jim starlin's personal collection certificate of authenticity and yeah jeff sutter i'm telling you the black widow daredevil is awesome what's the msrp on this uh 300 is the msrp 300 but we'll do it for 250 today thanos quest is awesome jim starlin ron lim john Beatty, fantastic book what else we got amy uh some more sign books all right a few more sign books 
John Carter of Mars. This is signed by Joseph Michael Linsner. This is a $50 book. What are we selling this for? $19.12. $19.12. That's over 60% off. And this and 20% goes to Rachel Pollock. So you're getting a $50 book for 1912 for the year that uh, the Princess of Mars uh, novel was written. Or released, I should say. Oh, this is this is super special. Number one of 59, signed by Steve Orlando. Supergirl Rebirth number one. What are we selling this at? Uh, $30. Okay, 1912 is when ERB wrote it. So $19.12. $30, you're getting number one by Steve Orlando. Uh, Phil Owens is saying something really interesting about that Strange Tales uh, to read approved by the Cosmic Code Authority instead of approved by the Comic Code of Strange Tales. Oh, my God. I <laughs> never noticed. Right Don't there. Know. That's cool. Yeah, Thunder Buddy, I'm not going to predict how expensive that the Warlocks books are going to be once the MCU has them appear. I think you should just buy them because they're great stories and they're from Jim Starlin's personal collection and they're pedigreed. So that's the reason why I would buy them personally. Uh, then we got Batman 50 extra size. Uh, yes, the Supergirl has a signed certificate, Mike. And the certificate matches the number on the cover, which is number one. So, if you'd like it, it's 3S. Batman number 50, this is 59. Uh, how much is this? Uh, 27. This is a $50 book that we're doing for $27, signed by Tom King. Uh, that's right, Mike. We got to be collectors first. That's why, like I said, while I'm not going to speculate what those Warlocks are going to be worth once he shows up in the MCU... I'm just going to say buy them because they're great reads and cool. So this is a $50 book for $27. And then last but not least, Who's Iron that? Man Fraction. Who, who was that signed by? The Tom. Tom King. Okay. Sorry. And then Iron Man, Invincible Iron Man number one signed by Matt Fraction. This is number 37 of 125. How much is this? Uh, this one is nineteen dollars and sixty-two cents. Nineteen sixty-two, which is a steal because Matt has been in Hollywood and is not writing as many comics, so signature is a little bit more difficult to get. What else do we have left? Uh, just this little pile right here. All right, some collections. Last of the Mohicans, Barbarella, Volume One, Mike Carey. Uh, Let's see MSRP is $17.99. We're going to do this uh, for 10 bucks, right? Correct. So $10 for the Barbarella. Red Sonia Tarzan, uh, $19.99 MSRP, Gail Simone. We're going to do this for $10. We want to get some readers here. $10 gets you the book, and 20% goes to Rachel Pollock. Then we have The Boys Omnibus, Volume 1. This is the trade paperback omnibus that has the first 12 issues. This is a $30 book. How much are we doing this for? This one is $30. All right, so this one's full MSRP. So, but it's... It's the boys. All right. Project Superpowers. Tell you what, we'll knock $10 off. Make it $20. Uh, oh, your dad calls you Barbarella? That's awesome. Let me take some of these down. It's getting a little crowded. <laughs> yeah. Take the collection. There you go. That's good. Start taking that. Probably take... All right, Project Superpowers, one of our biggest books. How much is this? Uh, $10. Oh, my God. Really? This is a $40 omnibus for $10. Uh, if you've not read this stuff, this stuff is awesome. Like, seriously. Uh, Alex Ross applied a lot of the characters, actually all the character designs for the series. Yep. Check it out. Let's 
so much. All right, this will stand. And then we have the art of John Cassidy. And this is signed by John, or is it not? I can't remember. It is signed by John. All right, signed by John Cassidy. The art of John Cassidy. This is a $75 book. Why don't we do this for $50? And last of the Mohicans, Lucio Parrillo signed and remarked Vampirella, the art of Lucio Parrillo. To be, this is a $200 book. We'll do it for $150. If there's anything you guys want to see, this is last call. It's it's time to turn off the lights. Yeah, Wolf Powder is going to be Warlock. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I love Dan Jurgens. Met him and got my wizard cover, the Death of Superman side. Nice. So glad you guys are happy. So glad you guys are happy. Um, can I see the Barbarella trade again? Of course you can. Writer on that one, is it Mike Carey? Yep, Mike Carey. Yeah. Mike Carey's a phenomenal writer. Very underrated. Came from um, Lucifer, then he did X-Men. How much for the Fantastic Four number one again? Which oh, Do you have a Fantastic Four? Oh, yeah, you had the Marvel. Oh, now. yeah, the FF yeah. number one. It was a commission cover art. I just put it, I just put it away. Where the heck? Uh, six R Rex. Yep. How much was it again? Six or sixty-five dollars. All right, that's a hundred and fifty dollar book for sixty-five dollars. Um, no Red Sonia omnibuses this time, but like we said, uh, that is volume one of Barbarella, I believe. Yeah, the Red Sonia omnibus is coming. No, back. this is volume two. I'm sorry, this is volume two. Oh, okay, uh, that one is coming back in December, so maybe the next time around we'll actually have some. No, last time we did, and then Nick was saying perhaps there might be some classic Red Sonja collections. There, there will be some classic next year. Yep. Thank you, Mister M nine 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 one. Really appreciate it. So, I think this is everything, guys. Yeah. Uh, we'll do. How much is the Red Sonja Tarzan trade? Ten dollars, Sam. We, we're doing it for ten dollars. So, and remember, everybody who pays today gets a uh, limited edition incentive FOC cover. Uh, what did I miss that was sold with Dan Jurgens? I was going to say that's sold. Or? All right, Sam Keller claims this. Uh, do we have anything else with Dan? We sold the uh, remark, the silver one. I don't think we have anything else with Dan Jurgens, unfortunately. Payment also sent for the three buy it nows. Uh, thank you for sending an email, Sticky New. Claim that Starlin, Death of the Family, and King Batman. You got it, KG. All right. You got this. And you got this. That Death of the Family is awesome. Congratulations. I'm jealous of that one. That's a great one. All right. So KGV7 claimed what now? Uh, 4S and 2J. Nazi, we are going to talk to Omar about when to do it again. You know, we did it last year. It was a lot of fun. We're doing one this year, both times, right before sorry, what was the, first the holidays. Before so, yeah, maybe, maybe uh, we'll not before see. the holidays next time. It just happened to be that way this time around again for some reason. Uh, I, I, we were supposed to do it, I think, in September. Then we got six. And yeah. All right. Uh, this is between you and Ben, Nick. He's asking. <laughs> I've seen Nick haggled live. All right. So that I can walk away with $300 since I just put it together. Um, how about 380? This way, Rachel will get, uh, will get $76 and I'll walk away with th about 300, less than 300. Cause I got to absorb the PayPal fees. But um, how about we do that? How about we do that? 380. 
Do Dynamite have any links? Uh, Jeff, we do, and we'll try and bring him next time. Uh, uh, or you can just go to Dynamite. What was the Art of Lucho you had? It is right here. This is the remarked edition. It's got Vampirella on the cover. Vampirella remarked. It's a $200 book. I can't remember if I gave a discount. I really can't. Uh, Pity Ma, we will. Yes. Yeah, we'll send the emails tomorrow. The most important thing is to pay Rachel tonight or tomorrow uh, once we add everything up. Uh, let's see. Well, thanks, Jeff. You're too kind. Um, let's see. No pressure for Ben, guys. He's got to make the decision. We don't know what his uh, financial situation is, so we can't make that. No pressure. Uh, uh, did, you, did you get the email, uh, PD? Uh, will you send me an email for the shipping amount? Yes, they will. Right, Rex? Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct, yes. Do you have uh, a Barbarella uh, 1 to go with that Volume 2? We can get you Volume 1. We can get you Volume 1. Uh, we'll do that for another $10, Mike, if you want it. So, there you go. Um, let, me, uh, let me join the stream again with Melanie and I so you don't just hear our voices. Um uh, so that's a good offer. I'll I'll end it here in just a second. Round it up to about four thirty. Give Ben a little chance, and uh, we're gonna go get some lunch because we haven't eaten anything today. We we were just so excited neither, to do this. Uh, neither have I. My veggie sandwich is still sitting there. Oh well, yeah, you didn't uh, sell it for a thousand dollars. Ben, yep. I, I I can't tell you off the top of my head, and I don't want to misquote. Um, again, uh, if you decide to take the deal. Uh, when you send the PayPal, make sure to send your email address, or you can email uh, either me or mm -hmm. Amy, which is on the, on screen there, um, mm -hmm. and we will take it uh, tomorrow morning and have it weighed so I can give you an exact shipping amount, okay? Um, the YouTube channel's Dynamite Entertainment, Logan. If you guys sub up, that's great. The Super Project Superpowers at $40 omnibus that we're doing for $10. The Four Connecting Spider-Man is $800 that we're doing for $500. And again, we could, and Mike, yes, we will get you by one and two, $10 each. Um, how to get a water burger delivery. Hey, man, you're making me even hungry. Uh, <laughs> right? We should have done, done that. We were back screen. We were in the backstage. Um, oh, get delivery. So I'll let Ben and you guys work it out. If, if Ben, if you want to email these folks, you're more than welcome yeah. to after the show ends and you guys can work out shipping and how much you want for that. Uh, Oh, <laughs> now Mike's asking, can you do 40 for Volume 1 and 2 and Supergirl Rebirth? No, yeah. man. No, nah, nah. the Supergirl Rebirth is number one. And uh, come on, 20% is going to Rachel. You could do 50. Come on. Um, it's only $10. Bart, I'm oh. glad that you had fun. Are you pleased with what you got? The so, Matt Fraction book. Oh, he's asking, the, the, the shipping, was. are you in the U.S., Empire? If you are within the continental United States, uh, the one book would be $10 yeah. for shipping. So the plot of Project Superpowers is what happens when one of the heroes betrays all the other heroes. And they he captures them and puts them in an urn for Pandora's box. Um, Canada. Um, I would... I, if I'm going to have to venture a guess for one book to Canada, depending on what part of Canada you're in, uh, I'm going to say probably it's going to be seven, seventeen fifty to nineteen dollars. But we're also going to give you a free limited edition book, just to remind you if you're paying today. Um, let's see. I'd love to see Mike Oming and Mel Ruby's where it's on. Yeah, you may be seeing that, Adam. We, you know what? If Omar can rally the troops like he did on. Uh, on the boys omnibus, we can get a nice hardcover out for the 50th anniversary. I think that would be great. Pity Ma, Supergirl is $30. Yeah, Pity Ma, $30. Here, here, here's the thing, Nick. You know Titan just got the rights to Conan. Yep. They just announced a reprint of Conan Omnibus Volume 1 and 2 and Savage Sword of Conan Volume 1. Yep. And they're going to continue the Marvel projects of with Volume 9 of Savage Sword and Volume 11 of Conan and King Conan Volume 2. It would be really cool to see a Red Sonja omnibus to go along with those. Just saying. Uh, sorry. Hold on a second. Here's a quick question. It's not a dumb question. Should we be emailing to Nick's listed email for a follow-up? 
You can email uh, Rex and Amy. Yeah, uh, better off emailing me or Amy, and uh, our email's on screen currently. Oh, and my God. Does, does the yeah. Fraction book have a certificate? Yes. Oh, the Iron Man has a certificate, and if you're talking about the FF with the commission cover art, that will have a certificate. Yes. Uh, Unstoppable Bar, I think we are going to have the auction in less than 10 years. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to wait 10 years for the next one. Yeah, what's up with that question? Guess I might not even be alive in 10 years. I got a lot of stress in my no, head. Let's, not, let's not talk like that, Nick. Come on. Come on. You uh, got this. Thank, thank you so much, Nick and Amy and Greg, and for everybody that joined us to um, get some really cool stuff. Help out Dynamite and most importantly, help out Rachel Pollock. So Absolutely. Thank you. So which red on your book did you want, Heimdall? I'll buy the Red Sonia book so you have at least two, two sold. sold. There yeah. you go. How much for the Iron Man and how much for the FF? Uh, the Iron Man was 1962, which the is FF a steal. was 65. Oh. The Hemdall is talking about. Red Red oh, he's Sonia. asking for the omnibus of. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Oh, awesome. Awesome. All right. That's Wait. two. He's talking about in the future if we do a hard yeah, cover. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Hey. Uh, did you tell? I'm sorry. Did you answer the question? Of, so 1962 uh, and 65. So basically 84 dollars and 62 cents. Okay. Uh, well, so, Nick, I'm gonna let you say your piece, and then you guys can tell where people can find you all, and um, you and I can talk about doing this again because this is a lot of fun yeah. and brings in a lot of people and that really want these. And I like the idea of you know. Helping people out. So tell us a little bit about you and your group and sign us. Right. Uh, and M, M. Pereira is taking the Iron, Iron Man. Man. All right. So first and foremost, if you're watching live or if you're watching later, hit that thumbs up, support Omar, Melanie, and the entire Near Mint Condition uh, family. So hit that thumbs up. Uh, two, you can go to dynamite.com to check out all the dynamite books. You can also go to dynamicforces.com for all the autograph memorabilia that we do with marvel dc image dark horse boom and everyone else um you can uh follow us on youtube dynamite entertainment you'll see my ugly face on some of the videos but you'll also have uh the awesome amy on the better videos um and you can follow us on twitter twitter dynamite comics i want to thank you guys for being here none of us would be here without you uh uh, Omar wouldn't be as successful as he is without your support. So thank you. And honestly, keep reading comics, everybody. Let's keep the industry growing. And seriously, props to Omar and Melanie. They are two of the best ambassadors for the comics industry. They always have a positive voice and they're honest. They're honest and positive, which is great. And we couldn't do it without them. So thank you guys. And you know what? Thank you guys who showed up today. You're awesome. This was a lot of fun. So thank you. Um, yeah. What what Nick said. Thank you, everybody, uh, for being here. Thanks, Amy, for being organized. Amy, <laughs> you're, you're the unsung <laughs> hero. Right. Right. Omar, I'm uh, Melanie, thank you, guys. No, uh, thank you for, uh, uh, for everything. Uh, that you were making faces like I do? Uh, Melanie makes the same <laughs> facial expressions with me and my mess, so I understand <laughs> your pain. Uh, this was a blast. We will do this again. Just keep an eye on the channel and I will announce it. And thank you all to the people that even if you didn't buy anything and you went over there to donate some money, that's wonderful. Uh, but yeah, we'll talk about doing this again. And Nick and I will talk about maybe some collected editions Dynamite could do next year. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. And that's it. Stay healthy and safe, please. Everyone. Actually, I will I will leave this with one more thing. We also have shows on the experience. So every Monday and Wednesday, Rex, John, and Amy. So if you go to the underscore experience on YouTube, they're live there on Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Omar actually did a show with us once. And then on Fridays at 7, I do the original art experience every Friday, showing and selling original artwork. So that's also a lot of fun. Nice. So thanks for letting us know. Thanks for letting everybody know that, too. That's it, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Well, if you're here in the States. And then have a great Thanksgiving, too. That's coming up this week here in America. 
Not in yep. Canada. Happy holidays, Happy everybody. Happy holidays. Thank it's you. Ha- it's already <laughs> happened in Canada. Bye, everybody. Stay, Vinti. Thank you, baby.